Yeah. All right. So wait, I need my notes. I'm I'm outside of my element, so I'm just gonna try and remember what the hell. So welcome to oh, that's the show, the real villain. I was like, <laughs> I was like, what is this called? I was about to say agree to disagree. Um, welcome back, guys. Real villain, new set alert. <laughs> um. But I don't know. Can I we consider the, this like a new season? Like, is this a new season? Yeah, new season because like we've been gone for months. Um, and it's a new season. What what better time to come back than on a new season of Love is Blind? Because, you know, it's just fantastic. Um, yeah, we had originally wanted to talk about the UK one, but it was so nice. I might, I might slide in a little comment on them, too. Ooh, okay. But um, I'm Nikki. <laughs> and I'm Emmy. If y'all didn't know. Welcome. So we have a lot to get through. So we're just going to jump in. Um, This is season seven of Love is Blind. can't believe that they're on season seven. seven. Bro, I was surprised. And they just canceled chaos. I'm sorry. They just canceled chaos. <laughs> yes, I saw that. But we're on season seven of, of Love, is, Love Blind. is Blind. So make it make sense. And I'm yet, just saying. So are you, y'all going to tell me we haven't proven that Love isn't blind yet? I feel like at this point, I mean, we've proven that people go on there to like. We have proven you know, that have love is certainly sh- not blind. Y'all saw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this, see, I, I can't jump into it because I'm just. Some of these reveals, let's not gonna act like these people are like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> My name's reveal was hilarious, okay? Because, yeah. Britney's. And, and Leo, she was like, ooh. What the hell I do? I don't even know. She just, that was just her tea. I was like, that's hilarious. She, before he even opened his mouth, that wasn't her tea. But let's, let's, I digress. We start off in the pods as usual. Nick and Vanessa are still here. They're still here. Yeah, I feel like at this point. They're staying. I get it. It's just, yeah. but they never take my notes. <laughs> I, <laughs> listen, I, so. I want to see what they do with the reunion this year because they, they never read, take no, my notes. No, but they read the tweets last season. But I don't know about this season, though. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I I just Vanessa get it together. Now Nick, wow. just be Nick, because <laughs> that's what he he gonna Nick. We start off in the pods. We meet. Uh, let's, we're gonna go pair by pair. We're gonna start with a toxic pair right away because we just talked about Mr. Leo. Um, this is Leo and Brittany. You'll have the pictures here and you'll have the ages. I don't know what the hell, how old they are, but you're going to have them on the screen because me, I don't know. <laughs> I'm so prepared. Leo is rich and he wants y'all to know that. He wants the ladies to know that, that he's big. He wants the world to know he's that he got money. Big okay? balling. He got he is money. He shot Colin. And okay. guess what? All his family died from cat. It's not funny. It's not funny. No, no, no. That, okay, that's not funny. <laughs> no, it's not funny, but I'm just like... Think about it. All his whole family died from cancer, and now he's the head of the company. I'm just saying. Th- I'm like, why did he feel the need to say how much money he had? Because if I was him, I would have went into this not disclosing the amount of money I was I was making or Bruh, that I was making. people didn't know like what a Rolex was. He's, you see, it's just Rolex. And it's like, also, let's be honest, the people that have money like that, a lot of them don't. They don't buy be Rolex. talking about it. And also, it. they don't buy Rolexes. There's other for watches. sure. There's, there's other th- companies. There's other things that people but buy. But he got big, not. big money. Is what I found out. TikTok like, like told me his company is worth about six million, which is more than I'm worth. But I'm just saying, like, <laughs> like both of us combined. <laughs> you know, that's what, mm. I'm just saying. It's, I just the way he was speaking. I thought we were in the hundreds of millions. I just I don't know. I thought it was a little more than that. No, but he got money. He he got some. He got he got. I mean, in the art world, so that would make sense, you know. For um, sure, but he definitely leads with, I don't want y'all to love me for my money. I need connection. That's why I didn't talk about money. That's why I didn't tell you I'm rich. That's why I didn't tell you that I'm the head of the company. My whole family's dead from cancer. That's why I'm not telling you, but I'm telling you. It is. Um, mm. Okay. But he was, Brit- he was insufferable. Insufferable. I, I, oh, my God. The, 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 <laughs> every time <laughs> I was, I can't, I said, this, not, this see, guy's not real. You want to know something? It's like, I can't even hate, because you know when you be liking somebody, you do weird stuff? No. But that was annoying, because he was doing it to both of them. Because he, he had a little triangle situation going. <laughs> yes. But Brittany, that was the annoying part. Brittany and, and Hannah were his interests. Now, Leo, let Leo tell it, Hannah's the one that he should be going for. You know, he, she seems like, you know, the kind of stable woman that he would need. Yeah, right. But Brittany is what he, like, usually chases after because, you know, she he could tell by her voice she's petite and she's, like, girly and all of these things. So he's like, but he was telling the guys, but Brittany gonna be expensive and she sure would be. 
I don't know when she was talking, she was just like, yeah, I'm used to guys paying for everything, pretty much. Like, I'm, you know, this is the vibe she was giving, and this is what she was embodying, this for is what sure. she was talking about. And I'm like, well, if you have big money, you shouldn't have a problem with that. You shouldn't be worried about that. You really shouldn't have a problem with that, because a lot of people in those spheres, that's how they operate. And but, I, really but I get that, that he, to defend him a little bit, I think that he just really didn't want somebody to just come there expecting for him to take care of everything then like in that case, show me don't talk about your money oh right for, yeah, do not sure. talk about uh -huh, money because then i'm gonna be like oh so you got it but then again just by giving up just by his job title you know he has money like when he said what he was doing i was like yeah 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 well it's funny britney is you you notice the different types of women because britney was like Oh yeah, like she immediately went into that fifty-fifty conversation right after he said that. She was like, "I am so bad at that conversation." But Hannah was like, "I ain't gonna lie, like I even I, I don't know if I could do Hannah's voice. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> like I didn't she even, really <laughs> said. I don't even I don't even know what her argument was, and I was like, uh, okay, so she's really showing that like, well, she tried to really make it seem like I don't care about this, I don't care about looks. I I, th I think she was projecting a little bit. But you know, we'll but she get to did her. say that she quit her job. Oh, my and God. she said she had a good job that was paying well. She quit her job to come look for love, and I was like, you either she was making bank and she was able to like save up and like not work for an amount of time where she was financially secure, or she just gambled. It was like, you know what? That's what I thought. But you girl, know what? later on, she says she's been on her own. But I'm I'm thinking she's got like a really supportive family. She's really in great. But she seems like the type that's been really independent. Since yeah, but maybe, but maybe she got money. We don't know. But I'm just saying. I mean, quit your job very, money was, for two months. I mean, hey, could, shout out to you. Yeah, it's very interesting. All right. So yeah, so Leo, uh, uh, they end up. He ends up uh, closing the try. I don't know how you would call it. There's no. a choice that is made, but yeah. it wasn't really because he made it. It's it's that's the the next couple are, since they're kind of into yeah, we'll get into them after the triangle too. But they were in a triangle, and because. He had two options, and Hannah had two options. He is, you know, they're both kind of like saying, oh, I'm not making a decision. But he was really on this, Leo, he was really on the side of, I'm not making a decision until the end. Like, he was like, you guys are neck and neck. You guys are neck and neck. And that was annoying me a little bit because I'm yeah, like... me too. I was just like, I just want to make a choice. Like, what do you mean? I feel like you're just trying to keep them both on a, like... Yeah, that was... It was sad. weird. Or he just wanted, in my opinion, to beat Nick. Like, inside there, he was the other guy he was against. He was like, bro, like, no, like, you're not, like, you're not. I think that was what was happening. That was mostly that? For sure. Yeah. Because he, sure. he actually, see, it seems that he went in and, you know, was talking to Brittany. And, you know, they were getting along. He was getting along with Hannah, too. But once he heard that Hannah had chosen Nick, like, when Nick came in and they were just like, he's like, yo, me and Hannah were solid. Leo went in there and acted a whole I have never seen such a crash out in my life. I was like, how are you bullying somebody and you're not even, you know, you can't even see her and you're out here bullying her. And I was just like, I, sir, I need you to calm down. Baby, and so I, I really want, it's like, she, he was putting so much pressure on her and she started crying. And I was just like, why did she, cause it, cause I don't see you. I would, I just, <laughs> the way I would have just been like, you would have been left. You seen the, Sponge, the SpongeBob, like me, when he said that would have been me. <laughs> With the, uh, so you gonna head out to me. Uh, yeah, head out. You're gonna talk by yourself. No, because why? That's hilarious. Because why am I staying? <laughs> no, because, because I feel like Hannah was really trying, okay, because the thing about Love is Blind, especially the pods portion is, that's the experiment part to me, right? Fact, I mean, of I course the, the, it still yeah. continues, mm -hmm. but like, being in the pods, emotions on a different level. Mm -hmm. This is not reality emotions. So she's in there like, okay, I'm got to go. Even though we know it's not a breakup it, in real life, because we're like, you guys don't know each other. But in her head, she's like, okay, I'm going to go let down this person, tell him I've chosen Nick. <laughs> I'm breaking up with him. Leo said, no, you ain't. You're not about to do that. He really said. He said, uh, no. He's like, what do you mean? What do you mean? Like, I literally told the producers. I was like, yo, yo, like, I want to have my date with you first. Like, I was like, yo, like, are you going to... Yo, if I tell you to marry me right now, right now, way are you gonna marry me? Hey, 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 her. marry me. I what? would no. I promise you, I would not be in that. Room. And she's like, because she's no, like, you said, like, you said, like, and that's the thing. I don't and that's know what to do. That's why I kind of was like, you can tell maybe, and maybe it's a wrong assumption from my part, but like, you could tell that she's a bit younger than the other contestant. Because yeah, like, she's the youngest do not one. Talk she, oh, to, she's twenty six. I know yeah, that age. Do not talk to me that way. Like, who are you? 
And also, I don't see you. I don't need to stay here and be bullied by a wall. Like, what? No, I So, me, just, I would have... No. I would have stayed. Like, I would have... Well, well at until least my, my words, you know, were out. Because she wasn't saying much. Because mm-hmm. he would keep asking... Like, he was asking leading questions. Like, you're not actually giving me an option. You're like, don't. You're not doing this. You're not but doing that. Like, are you... He's like, are you... Are you serious about marrying him? Like, are you like, wh- how far are you with him? How serious are you on your decision? And I was like, Leo, Leo, baby, you need to be a, a better loser. <laughs> he was spiraling. It was just, yo, he was, he was out of control. He was trying to like, his like, reaction uh, was like so unhinged. Uh, I mean, I'm telling you, I watched, I was like, I was like, I was like, this, this was me running to Twitter. As soon as I saw that scene, I was like, oh, I was like, this is an episode of Snap. Like, what happened? No, then literally, I was just, and also, and this he made is him cry. from a lot of other things. I already did not like him, but from sure. this, I was just like, oh, hell no. From the comments about, the, the regular comments about the job, mm. uh, the, you know, about, you know, the the two women, even some of the comments that he was making on why Hannah versus Brittany, I was the, like, vi- oh. the vibe was just off, and it did not seem Genuine? to be... What, yeah, it did not. If it, with either of them, that's also the thing. With he either, just, of no, either of the ladies, I feel like he was... Oh, with his connection. With, with his connection, I feel like even when he was like quote unquote spiraling when he was talking to Hannah. Acting no, that was like, just acting like he was like actually like that was just stress. I was looking at his body language. He wasn't and even gonna like, choose Hannah like, at all. I'm, did you see his body language? This yeah. was like, oh. I'm like <laughs> I'm like, sir, I don't see distress. He just didn't want to lose at all. Want, yeah, you I And you're like putting pressure thing. on this girl lose. just yelling at this girl for no reason, not letting her speak. Or are you gonna No, no like she's speaking no are you gonna I'm And like, even like when he was like the next day he was like I need to go back and apologize but he was, t- he was, he went in there talking about, oh, let's say it's mutual. Like, it's, no, it's not mutual. Sir. It's not, I came she to let break you up with you and you started <laughs> having a full blown panic. Attack. And then after that, he's like, Nick is the right for you and Brittany is the right, is the right person for me. So can you please tell her that like, I love her? And I was like, I are you ins- <laughs> died. I was like, you, <laughs> you said, what? You said, so by oh the way, God. I know I came in yesterday, crashed out completely. It's fine. Forget it. Sorry about that, by the way. Um, Brittany, that's mine. Girl, forever. Love, Love her. her. <laughs> Love, Love her. her. And could you tell her that for me, please? And she was like, no. <laughs> like, what? What are you talking about? It's really about? the fact that I'm like, sir, you really think production is not going to use that? And put it? If I was me watching the clips of the day, I would have been like, keep that. <laughs> like, cause, you know, like a mastermind. <laughs> oh, my oh, my God. God. oh, my God. He's like, God. we got a story here. I'm like, sir, please. But we got it. Okay. That was embarrassing. So he goes back to Britney now tells Britney all right boo it's you has this weird letter apologize no Britney wrote a letter to him which Britney I was confused because the whole letter was like okay so I'm not gonna be accepting whatever bs you're gonna come with and then he said okay so will you marry me she's like yes I said what happened Britney was just like I'm leaving here with something and I was like okay and you know what's (laughs) funny because we're going couple by couple yeah. well i'm just gonna say this now the funny part is that even though he proposed and she said yes the producers were like nah <laughs> <laughs> we'll see that and i that is the funniest thing because i feel like it would have been material for great entertainment but that's my problem with netflix i was like why would you <laughs> we maybe were, something we, happened behind the scenes there has to be something that something he did but i was just like loving hip-hop this shit bro i'm sorry yeah, but that was show VH1. me the mess that was show VH, me the mess that was vh i don't care Netflix and also VH1. just side note vh1 love and hip-hop atlanta when jocelyn hernandez was there was the best era of <laughs> red Looney tv it really I don't was care. so yeah that's it cracked out era it was the um, best listen so yeah so she says yes to his proposal for some odd reason because they have no zero I I saw no, no connection, but whatever. They go to the reveal, and uh, yeah, she mm. he comes out and she's like, mm. and he was like, oh, and he was boing. I mean, she's so. I mean, she's she's really looking nice. She looks yeah, she so looked pretty. She looks cute. pretty, and she looks like she's a nice person. I don't know. There's something about her. She's like so like she's. I like her honesty. Yeah, I like the fact that she if she's not feeling something, I'm not gonna just say it. Because you want to say, I'm not going to go mom on because that's where you're at right now. Like, I like her realness. Mm-hmm. Um, He, that was her his type, apparently, because he was all over. It was borderline. It was just weird. He was kissing her too. I was just, ah, I was, and because some you of them. The ick, uh, yeah. yeah. Some of them, like, she would recoil, and I was like, 
I don't think she wants to kiss you, bro. But she's doing it because it's like cameras. It's like, watch me not kiss you on camera. No, because, <laughs> because watch Because they're cuddling and he's like, mm. it was so, I mean, this was the, it was so no, awkward. Listen, it's like, Ugh. you see, this is why I could never do this show too. Because I don't, I don't, oh, even, you like would die. I don't even like people you touching would die. me. It takes a while. So like, I would die. Yo, so, somebody goes like this to Emmy. We would <laughs> We, I remember we were out one time and this guy was like this and she was huh? and she was like what what this ruined her whole night I'm just saying don't some people cannot be touched some people and that's the thing also like I feel like then again it depends because some of them they just jump into each other's arms and they're like oh but, it's some, but you have to be able to read the room but some of them are a bit more reserved like yeah I feel like um, Taylor and Garrett were Taylor and Garrett reserved. were more reserved but when I look at their couple it makes sense yeah so you know but. But yeah, so yeah, so weird. basically yeah. at that point it looks like they decide like because she didn't want to say I love you back at that point or whatever No, because she was like so, you have to understand where I'm coming from which makes sense Which makes sense, but I just he was so weird, bro Nothing he said I believed zero things like he kept saying I love you and I'm like I don't believe you you don't know her But whatever, but it's also yeah. like the way you acted with Anna last night now you don't you don't love her You don't love her like this is a consolation prize, but whatever so I'm glad I found out later because I completely missed that. I was probably on my phone taking notes or something. The producers said, we're done with these people. Okay. They went to Miami. Uh, they decided to take their own trip. And then they broke off the engagement. As Amen. Should, as it should be because y'all have no business being together. Amen. And that was Leo and Brittany. Then we go into Hannah and Nick. So they were also a part of this love square yeah triangle yeah situation so hannah as we just spoke earlier was um uh connected with nick and leo her connection with leo was again i don't remember what their connection was because leo i felt nothing authentic from him so no, I, but I i don't know why she was so s oh because he was love bombing the ish out of her it was love bombing everybody but also well, more hannah i feel it's like i don't know it's it's so funny because <laughs> Hey, I'm just saying, don't be mad at me, okay? Mm. It's so funny because it's like, what he was telling Brittany was like, oh my God, like, even though, like, I think people would think that you're not that smart because of your voice. And I was just like, <gasps> wow. And then, really and then he would just be like, but I can tell you're very intelligent. And that's like a superpower because, like, they underestimate you because of your voice and whatever. And, like, I feel like with Hannah, it was like, not saying the same things, but in the same way, like, basically backhanded compliments i feel like that's what he was doing to both of them but like in different completely different ways and the weird. way they were reacting to it i was just like i don't know if you read i that didn't book. get how he had two women like him in the first place listen there's nothing about his personality called was... the game by neil strauss okay Ooh, yes. where they explain nagging and all of the other things this is exactly this is textbook what he was doing I, yeah. if they didn't read this book i recommend you go read this book this is very interesting but anyway but, but what he was doing was to he hannah hit, as he well. hit on each lady's weakness yeah. Britney's was security and money, mm. so he kept playing that up. And Hannah, she just want to be loved, child. She just want to hear it, how great she is. Yeah, and like also because she has insecurities, even though she was portraying at first like, nah, I don't have no insecurities. She has that, but she's do. also super arrogant. And we're we're here, so I'm gonna get to that. She, Britney, I mean not Britney, child. Hannah thinks she's God's gift to Earth, and some parts of her annoy me. There's some parts I like. Yeah. And some parts of That's her get on my nerves. Uh -huh. um, so her and <laughs> Nikki D are <laughs> matched up. Nick is a former football player. <laughs> kick. What are you laughing Because he's a kicker? No, not because he's a kicker. It's oh. just because I feel oh, like they, I they had an idea of him in their heads, which was his. All the ladies thought he was going to come out looking like Travis Kelsey, baby. Like, they thought he was going to be freaking uh, Odell Beckham Jr. Like they, But he is Nikki D. Okay, and he's not an ugly dude to me. Like he's just, and also he, they said this is girl math, right? I was like, I'm skipping ahead, but at the reveal, there's Hannah Simon. Like I'm like a foot taller than him. Where in reality, it's like he's like two inches taller than her. It when she's in heels and she has and, heels. That was like girl, shut up. And they're like, yeah, that's girl math. Two inches taller than you means your foot taller. Than him. No, but also that's like I actually when she actually said that to him at the reveal, I was like, "Girl, you wearing heels, and they were not small heels." No, they were they were good. I'm like, "Girl, you're shorter. Shut up." It's, you know, when you're expecting 
the aesthetic of a football player you have in your mind, I get it. And I'm not saying she should have said that. I'm just saying, like, I see what she was expecting, mm -hmm. which is probably why she didn't go with Leo. But, but she's that's rude. neither here nor there. She's rude about how she, she oh, talks she to this man. Oh, she is a bitch. Anyways, I'm we'll sorry. Get, we'll I, get into it. We're, we're, so we'll get into it. They connect over um, football, and I was the cheerleader in high school, you the football player, blah, blah, blah. They connect on a bunch of shit, whatever. Also, she, just side note, pause. She really said I was that cheerleader in high school. She did not give me cheerleader vibe. That's an A. Hey. Have you seen her recently? Hey, no, I haven't. She looks the fuck good. I'm of sorry. she does. I've never said she doesn't look good. I'm just saying. No, no, no. I'm, no I, that's not I'll, what she was I'll, giving. I'm not saying she didn't. Me, I was getting confused. Oh. <laughs> I had some confusion. Yeah, let me go see what she looked like. I had some confusion because I was like, Hannah, you, you cute girl, but like it's giving. It's get. I didn't know about some of the style choices. I didn't know about some of the hair. I was confused. You know what I mean? But she is currently very snatched. I said, okay, she goes turn some heads at the reunion. She's uh, she's pretty. I still her. There's something about her face. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to go in on her like that. Because she was a pretty girl. There's just something about her that like. When I look at it, I don't know. Nick asked a question about lip injections. I don't know if. She has gotten lip. There's something that I'm like, ah, oh, what's that type of thing? I mean, yeah, she lost weight. This, I mean, she still has the same face though. But that's that's the part I'm saying, like, the face, like she snatched though. But like, and I think when I the reason I said that is because I think that's what she looked like in high school. Because she looks like one of those girls that like, yeah, she yes. was probably was the cheerleader. Type. I see what you're saying. But also, she did say that she gained weight during the pandemic. What a... Yeah. That was shit, we all did. Listen. <laughs> uh, so, so, please. Yeah. Me, for me, it wasn't even about her weight. I was just saying, like, that's not the vibe that she She doesn't give cheerleader? Me. That's not... Well, for me, again, I'm, again, also not from North does. America, so maybe I'm also I reading this She well. gives very, like... She, but she gives, like, the cheerleader you'd be friends with, not the one you hate. Not okay, the that's captain. Prob that's probably why. Not the captain. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. I, I mean, again, it's like... They, those two together, when they were talking Can in we the talk pods... Can we talk about their reveal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, oh, I was just going to say, pods, like, yeah, yeah. when they were talking uh, in the pods... Because I remember nothing about that. Nick and Hannah... No, because it just came back to me. Yeah. When they were talking in the pods, I remember thinking, she seems much more happy and bubbly when she's with Nick mm. than when she's talking with Leo. I feel like when she's with Nick, she's more carefree, and there's a moment where she actually... With both of them, and I think she did that deliberately, she told the same exact story to mm -hmm, both of them mm -hmm, about mm -hmm. how her mom, when she went through her would chubby phase, the, yeah. would block the, the cabinets, which is actually traumatic, which You're creates so right. and causes a lot of um, eating disorders to a lot of Ooh, children. I that oh, no, Listen, I remember this. And it actually creates a lot of eating disorders in, in children, which, you know, it happens during uh, teenage years. And when she told the story to, like, both of them, I loved Nick's reaction because he didn't focus on the problem. Like, he made her laugh, even though she was like, you're laughing at my pain. But, like, the way they turned the conversation around after this and how he said that basically he doesn't care or whatever, whatever, I thought it was very interesting because... Yeah, I he, could tell you how he did not make her self conscious about this, and he was he just you know. And that's I mean? why like, I don't. That's like why I was like, I like them together. Future shit where she's yeah, talking about he's sure. immature because there are some things he's immature in, for but sure. emotionally I find him very no, mature. That was a very good reason for yeah. me. That's why I liked her with him at that moment for again, sure, for sure. Um, and yeah, so they had a cute connection, and he yeah. he he he, he says I love you, which um, then prompts her to end her, try to end her other yeah, um, listen, with uh, connection. And they have a reveal that is, I mean, he seemed, I lo his reaction was genuine to me. Yeah, he was very I, happy. I think he was happy and he really was sincere when he was like, whatever you look like, I will love. Also, let's be honest, she, she's not ugly. Like, she's not an ugly girl so. at all. But like, I feel like he was honest in the sense of like, he was going to love whatever came out that yeah. door. Hannah was not. And, I, and, and, and girl, I, I have no room to talk because I'm a height queen. Okay, I know. But, but also, you're not going on love is blind. Absolutely not. Exactly. <laughs> but I feel like, you know, she was definitely like, it. even all that big talk, all that big talk in the pods, and then she definitely was like, oh, okay. But I think the, the it was an icebreaker, like, they got through that initial, because they, they still had that jokey banter, which was good. Now, next couple outside of the pod, uh, sorry, in the pods, let's do oh, yeah. Ashley and Tyler. <laughs> Oh, okay. Ashley and Tyler. <sighs> I, I, at in first, I remember we were during the pause. I was just texting. I was like, "Please tell me you like them because they were." First of all, I was like, "Tyler, where cutest. do they put Tyler's?" 
show me where the time now, listen i was just like why is this so because i was like i never really you know we always have those couples that we like on, mm-hmm. on shows or whatever but for some reason for them i was really like oh my god they were so they were cute, so cute. And you know what i mean it was just it was and great. he opened up to, well i thought we <laughs> we all thought he opened up, up to, to her, her. and they she talked about future him. they really t- they were one of those couples that talked a lot about future plans and how yeah. they would see their relationship be i was like ashley like i was like this is your man i was like yeah this is it and, I was like, and they were like one of the first ones yeah that we knew they're locked in they're gonna get engaged yeah, type we knew thing because even when he came back in the room was like this is my like yeah when he, he came back to the boys like, this, like, this is my girl yeah. like this is my he thing he was just so. a little skip i was like oh i but i do remember among all of this, there was a moment where he told her, like, you know, there's going to be people from my past that will... That was weird. Th- there's going to be people from now my past that, that will... Well, now that we know it's like, okay, but, like, there's going to be people from my past that will tell you, like, that whatever version of me that you get, like, I'm not like that or, like, I was very different or whatever, whatever. And she was like, yeah, I'll love you no matter what, whatever. And for me, it was very interesting, like you said, because why would you say that? I d- I, at the time, I remember watching it and thinking it... What? Like, it was just, it, it seemed very random, and I was just like... Yeah, I was just like, what What did you do? Like, for me, it's like, now you need to tell me Yeah, let's Yeah, let's expand what on that. You, what but she, she kind of just, um... Because I was just like, I'm like, is it is it giving... Because I thought about, you know, Think Like a Man, the movie, what's mm-hmm. his face, um, that was dating Megan Good. The dude that was dating Megan Good and Think Like a Man. He was a, man. Yeah, he was a player for, like, the yeah. longest time. And whenever they would be out in public, they would yeah, meet somebody and they true. would make references to how it was before her yeah, sure. uh, so i was like is it one of those which is understandable i didn't i didn't get that from him i, I get like neither, but I was some like, people were gonna going say on? he's like some mean guy maybe he's like maybe he's like i'm sweet to you but maybe i'm mean to other people mm, okay. or something like i thought yeah, i was wondering so yeah but they um they had a smooth pod experience really and then did. it was beautiful it was crying gorgeous. and she definitely looks like not the type to cry but it was just like oh wow like it's beautiful both he of wrote them, her a letter he both of them look like they're not oh my god no he gives me crier oh he but, does um but yeah so they had a reveal beautiful they're both chatting to each other great love we'll see you oh he, they were happy with the very happy oh listen he really was mm. and i think and he was like, and she was like yeah, yeah. I, I mean, they, they're good looking they look great they, together they, in in my opinion yeah um let's let's do um <laughs> Other people that look great together in another way. Um, Marissa and Ramses. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I would like to say she, they were also in a triangle. A lot of triangles this season. Oh, yes. They yes. were also in a triangle, but before anything, I would like to say I knew from jump. I saw them both and I was like, they need to be they a thing together. because they are part. Just visually, yeah. it was pleasing to look at. My only thing was like, I almost kind of hoped she went with Bowden, which was her other connection, yeah. because I said they look related. But a lot of, and something they said, not in the pods, but something they said when they met her yeah, family this, later on, yeah. is that a lot, a lot of, of a lot couples. of white people, a lot of white couples look like they're related and nobody says nothing. And but actually, is, it just, is it just to us they look related because white people look similar? No, do, do they no, look similar no, to white other. Because there's, no, there's a lot of white people that are together, they do not look alike. But there's some people, and it's not just with white people, that's what they said in the show, but it's not just with white people. There's couples of all ethnicities, right, sometimes right. they do they look, look alike. Related. And I think it's something related to your brain and how you're attracted to a certain symmetry that your brain recognizes or whatever. Hmm. Forgot which documentary I saw this in, but that makes sense. So I wasn't that shocked by this. Okay. So so they are so pretty. Marissa has, um, Marissa, here, I'm gonna be honest. In, Mar- Marissa, I gave starting me. in the pods, yeah. Marissa's annoying the hell out of me marissa's me voice i cannot like i'm thinking i'm putting my mind in the essence of these two men and i'm sitting there i don't see nobody i'm just listening to marissa's voice i'm like oh god like, <laughs> like wow no because this is you say you I'm did say honest. that i'm just being honest for me it's not her voice it's really like she was speaking and i was like okay 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 i was like different type of black girl which is fine mm-hmm, well when i said different right. meaning like not not the, the mainstream typical. Typical. she's not she's not um ashley and she's not no Alex. and then when she lost me, when she said, I dated somebody that voted for Trump. And not no, not that voted for Trump. She dated a Trumper, Trump which is supporter different. for three years. Which is different. That, that Trumper that is different also. than somebody voting for Trump. It is not the same to me. But you can, with her military experience, yeah, yeah, yeah. it doesn't no. come as so much of a shock. It doesn't but I was come like, as so much of a shock, hmm. but I was just like... Uh-huh. It, it tells me a little bit about yourself. Yeah, and for I, three years. And I think that... Um, I, I think I don't know if Ramsey's picked up on it then, but I know he, obviously we know later on he doesn't like the military. He's not a fan, yeah. and, but he still 
proposed to her because she's done with the military. That was yeah. part of her past. Yeah. But and also she did say that she was a sh- show well, me somebody's so past and I'll show. Uh, there is the saying that show me your past, I'll show you your future. But like, anyways, in the pods, let's get back to the, the pods. No, yeah, in the pods, yeah, in the pods, yeah. they were cute. They, they were cute. I mean, I guess. No, some. what? what not, I wanted her to choose Bowden. No, but I liked him. The reason why I said they were cute. He had big feet. It. For <laughs> me, it was it was more so about how they started talking about certain things like spirituality, queerness. And there was something in that conversation about like the, the traditional the roles. The traditional too. roles. When she, the he way matched she more exactly her, yeah. the way she was speaking in terms of her values, he matched way more. And the fact that I don't know if he's queer. I assume he's queer. I'm not sure if he did. I mean, people are queer. assuming, but I don't think he's. But he. I don't know if he said he's queer. He said, That's what I'm like, I don't know if he said he's. You know, queer. when they were talking, sorry, jumping a little bit ahead when he talks about the officiant for their wedding, they were like, just yeah. nobody says hetero. Yeah. So yeah. So I again, I assume he's queer. It may we're not be assuming queer, but allegedly like, we're assuming that he's queer, and I feel like. The way she was speaking, the way he's speaking, I feel like they matched more on that level. Of course, Bowden was the other connection. He was in the military. He actually was friends with... I think he was nice, too. With, yeah, he was. He I was liked him with, as a um, guy with, with Ramsey's. And yeah. it's just, um, I think they, you know, they, they felt more... Ramsey's and Marissa were, you know, just had the, the upper hand. So yeah, that's, that's what right. happened. They At the reveal... Both they of them is happy. they Ooh. some horny freaks. Oh, listen, they saw each other. And they were like, Ooh. okay, I sure these see these the these be the people when they be like, mm. like that, like the love, love Ooh. and happiness. They were and lusting. Freak, they were like, and she was I no, was no, like, no. Marissa. They were the first couple for sure that yeah. Oh, for that, sure. Yeah. First of all, they because they said when we get to the honeymoons, they were like at the like um they took it was like a break they oh, had yeah. in the day and they went and did that. I was like. Yeah. And she said everything was proportionate to height and er- oh. oh no, she was the way she talked about it. She was very happy. I was like, "Okay, Ramses, listen." So let's let's uh, do Monica and Steven. Monica uh, and Steven. Uh, Monica and in Steven. the pods. He the ten was... percent black man. <laughs> that's what. That's all I remember from the pods. Well, I remember her also kind of telling about her usual type. I remember him saying jobs. he voted for Trump because he did not like Hillary. I oh, know. I remember that. He said he voted for Trump because he oh, did not like he, Hillary. Yeah. But then after that, he did say that I don't believe in people not changing their opinion if they have their an informed, political, their political sure. opinion if they haven't informed things. And he was like, it was out of ignorance. And then he said the second time around, it did not. He got me in the box. I'm not going. No, lie. for real. It, he though, got me. The way he explained it made sense because he was just like, well, after looking at what he did with the country and everything, that I ended up voting for Joe Biden. This like after the election. I mean, voting for Trump in like a pop star. Because that's what he is. He was a pop star. In general, is like, okay, because you don't like a woman, let's 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 analyze that. Yeah. But but then after that saying that was ignorant, and yeah. then I looked he, into He recognized yeah. his error. So I was yeah. just like, okay, I could I like people that have the ability to look back at what they did and say, okay, I wasn't blah blah blah. But he's a like, liar, he's faking it. See, this is what this is what I was trying to figure out. Ten percent black, bro. When no, he said man, that, I was like, okay, go on. And it's Nigerian and Ghanaian, so just anyways. And Congo. Well, well, so Girl, what I was trying to figure, <laughs> what I was trying to figure out when I was watching oh him God. because of my experience with men, um, my radar is not always great. So I was trying to see when he was, especially when he was talking about the Trump and he was giving this be- the beautiful like I was ignorant. I went back. I was like, it's okay to change your pillow. I was like, is he mm-hmm. talking game? Is he spinning game? Mm-hmm. Like I was trying to figure it out in him because there was something. Something throwing me off mm-hmm. and i was just like i don't know maybe he is being honest mm-hmm. and I, that would be beautiful but mm-hmm. maybe he's saying this stuff, like we find like in a honeymoon like i'll get you flowers every day I like those not, things that women just i did not think it was gonna make it out of the pods i'm not gonna lie to you after that conversation i was like they're not making it out of the pods i was i was not seeing how she would get past it because even though i understand what you're saying for you to say the first time you were uninformed and you just didn't like Hillary, so you ended up voting for Trump, that's already a... Oh, no, she's hard up for a man. That's she's already no, that's already a... I knew, me, I, you see the guy that runs with the red flag? Yes. This <laughs> like, I knew me. Monica and Steven were making out the pause because... Ugh, I'm sorry, girl. You was going to pass by, breeze by every flag. And the reason I say this is... Child. The reason I say yeah. this is... She said thank you after he said yeah so here's what happened when i cheated in the past i'm a cheater he gave himself the label he said what happened 
and he explained like you know how he learned from that blah blah mm-hmm. she said thank you when she said thank you i said i was like did don't you want to inquire more i like, <laughs> don't want to know like i was like is it that hard out here it is it is it is she said is it this year it's in dc from what i've heard about the dc dating scene it is terrible and i feel like it's terrible everywhere, everywhere. especially in big cities it's in dc i cannot wait to see the atlanta season because i know they were casting atlanta i cannot wait that'll to see the atlanta season that'll be crazy they better all be queer i'm just saying oh no but that's what they're hoping that's why the women are going on love is blind they're hoping to find one straight man i know you're right they should do a <laughs> queer version for atlanta too anyway yeah but i'm just saying just to go back to this i feel like the dating scene is very hard she seems to be a very successful woman. You know how hard it is for women that are successful. On top of, you know what I mean? For women that are successful to actually um, find... Yeah, but especially when she has... And, 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 I, and I'm men, talking... But just regular men. But I have some of those standards. When you have such high standards, too, it's, it's the pool is just slim. So. Do not lower the standards because it's terrible out there. Well, like, again, her, her standards were a little bit like based on job yeah. and yeah. education, which... Yeah, mm. I, for me, education, here's the thing, right? Somebody can have a master's degree or even a PhD and do not, like, know about other things in life. And some people may not have all of that, but there are people that educate, them, educate yeah. themselves and they're knowledgeable and they follow. Me, it's just like, so. if you stay informed, if yeah. you have a thirst for knowledge, that is more important to me than your pedigree. No, sure. But, um, so yeah, so they go to <laughs> the reveal. I couldn't tell, because they immediately hugged each other. So, for a long time, I don't think she really saw his face. Then she pulled back to see what the hell he looked like. Um, I don't know what she thought. He's a, he's white, but he's... He you looked like something. there's you little something You could tell something happened. Well, not something happened, but no. But, like, no, because I remember seeing him, and I was just like, easy look. No, I, for two I was, seconds, I was, was so like, clear. easy Latino, or, like... Oh, you know, no. No, I, when I said Latino, because there's Latinos that are, like... Or I was like, or easy mix. I thought he was mixed. Because he could be mixed and just very light. I was just like, is he mixed? Like, I thought he's mixed with something, for sure. But then, yeah. when he was like, I went through my whole life thinking I'm a white man. And I was like, okay, buddy. All right. That's why he said I identify as white. I was like, yeah, here we <laughs> but, go. Well, you're white. Here so, when he said uh, that, I was like, okay. <laughs> he just said, well, Monica I Monica was so white. impressed by the book. She said, he found out he was 10% black. He got books. Didn't you see oh, the my. other girls when they commented on it? <laughs> 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 okay, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, but he was attracted. She's a beautiful girl. Like, I, I, I think Monica's very pretty. Mm-hmm. I don't know if Steven has dated black women before. I don't remember what he said about that. Um, <laughs> I mean, he's 10% black. I mean, listen, he probably went and found the first time. <laughs> listen, let's hold that. Uh, but yeah, she, I, she, they had a good little reveal. Uh, and the la- is it the last couple? T- like Tim and Alex and Taylor year. and Garrett are, are remaining. So many people. So, so, there's a lot of people. Okay, so Tim and Alex were in the pot. Well, so Tim, here's the thing with, in the pots for me. Mm-hmm. In the pots. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah. Did we get to know each other? Or are we trauma bonding? Mm. Are we trauma dumping now tim tragedy that sucks to hear about your sisters that is heavy i couldn't even imagine Mm -mm -mm. but we spent a lot of time talking about your sisters yeah talking about things i want to give my parents another daughter talking about giving you my sister's bracelet what also what i'm gonna say is fucked up so i'm just saying in advance if your sisters are that important and I get it, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to say like they're not important to him. So why would you give somebody you haven't seen yet your sister's bracelet? Wait at least till you get engaged to her until you then you, you for sure sure know that she's she's her right. to give her. And that's just my personal opinion because I would. That's my opinion. I, as this well. is my if this is something from somebody that I love that is deceased. I'm holding on to that for, for dear life, and I'm giving I'm, I'm giving sorry. it to my you're, kids or something. You're like, in the pod world. I love you. You don't even know this. But also outside of that, I think I also need you production. Don't know this I am sure in terms of producers that they picked that moment because that's a moment where they actually bonded. Like there was a moment where they got close. But I'm like, is there any other thing that I they don't think about? so? Because they, there was one of their night dates where they were playing like a little game, mm-hmm. and he's like, "Oh, I'm so glad that I actually can have fun with you because all of our dates have been so heavy and serious." I'm like, "But you, you, you don't want that." Bro- that no, for thing. sure. But that's what I'm but, saying. I'm like, they must have been. They, the, I think the pod. The pod time that they spend is like ten days. Yeah. So over the ten days, you 
I think they date each other multiple times a day Ooh. after a while. So I'm like, there must have been other dates, and they can, there's no way they can show 10, 10 days of, of dates. It was him. Like, there was even parts where she was talking, like, but wait, can I tell you some, one more thing? Like, Tim yeah, spoke a lot saying. about himself. And, and his sisters. And, I, and his sisters. And his life. And I felt like he didn't really get to know Alex, which was why. He was shocked by Alex is kind of a bitch a little bit. Like she's a little bit like, um, we'll get to it in the honeymoons, but she reminds me of me in a sense, and it's not a good thing. It's a very toxic thing. Is the fact that you said she reminds me no. of me after you said she's a bitch, and I'm like, wow. Because why would you? Why I would you say that? I can be yourself? a bitch at times. We can all be bitchy at times. I'm not a perpetual bitch. <laughs> I am a sometimes bitch. Okay. Um, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah, right. So basically, ah, okay. so so they be had they had the, all them deep ass conversations. So of course she said yes to his proposal. They get to the reveal. She was very nervous. She got a little, you know, she a little thick on. She's cute, beautiful girl. She look good, gorgeous. They all, they, but in she, this season they look. Hey, they are good looking people. Not all. We could have had better men, but the women, the women, gorgeous. Mm. Um, now I I understood her concerns because she was like, I I know I look I look good, but I don't know if he's used to dating a size two. Or a size fourteen. So you oh, know, no, he was very. Pleased. But he was good he with it. And he was hey. very happy. So and all, you can see all her concern. I, well, I hope at that point all her concerns. The way he reacted, I was like, okay, good. I was like, went good. Away. Mm. But I don't know if it, was, it wasn't giving Ollie and Demi. Um, oh no, it was giving. Ooh, it was giving. Yes, you could. <laughs> this man was happy. Yeah, and Ollie and Demi was terrible. Oh. Shout out to Demi. I hope you're. I hope you said, look at the better. bunda. I Ollie. Anyways, you said listen. I'm just gonna say it was giving me Toronto mans, but it's just London but mans. Said, <laughs> <laughs> they need to do a crossover. Because... Ollie said, "What? Why?" When she said no, he said, what, what? <laughs> "That was the most dramatic. <laughs> Why?" Oh Lord, you know you. I lie. cannot wait for these people to make a version lie. in France, so I can just say this <laughs> gonna be me. <laughs> And then, uh, and then and little Bobby, what's, it, what's his name? You got the body of a dancer. <laughs> I'm sorry, you came was so good. No, it was funny, sorry. but it was not as, listen. Jasmine's not as mama, and anyways, dramatic. Look, back right. to the US. Yeah. So Tim and Alex love each other. Well, I mean. But they were cute though. Well, Although, I actually, I thought the, the reveal was very awkward. Because now that I understand that she didn't see him, he was making uh, a lot of jokes. But I got the dog in me. Um, yeah, and she didn't like it. And I think she was just trying to figure out, like, this is my opinion. All, and all the views stated here are just our opinions. I think she was trying to figure out if she liked his forehead or not. <laughs> I, was I did not even. You Do you see? Do you see? Maybe this man had never thought about his forehead before in his life. Now he's going to go on TV or, like, on Netflix, and now people are going to talk about his forehead. I think she was sitting there really, trying to like no, I, I, she couldn't see it was, she can't see from afar so she started nah, bro, when they were sitting down on that little couch yeah she could see it she was trying to figure out if she was attracted to him or not and, oh for sure and for that's sure. why it was awkward because he was very much reconciling the voice and the face what? that must be weird for sure he was trying to make jokes I could tell he's one of those people like when I'm uncomfortable make jokes and she was like mm. But also, you could tell that this joke was something he probably said in the past, but the way, because she was like, don't say don't it, say don't that. say it. Yeah. And I was like, oh, okay. It's and I was, like, I was like, I was like, you, okay. Anyways, so that was their reveal. And then we had a very demure couple. Yeah. They were, again, what, similar to you Ashley and Tyler. Say demure. <laughs> wait, I can't wait. Very cute. You did not say demure. Very demure. You know, I forgot that was a whole trend. I literally I was, was just so, using it in my what? vocabulary. I am so glad I was not that there was for done. this trend. I no because I it's discovered it when thank God because what was that? Very classic. <laughs> Shout out to the late. Very classic. Very demure. You see how I'm putting applying this makeup? And somebody it's made scary. a video talking about how like social media really be making everybody talk the same, and I'm like, yo, yeah, we we need to start doing things differently, guys. Yeah. Anyways, well, so they're um very similar to Ashley and Tyler. They from the beginning, you could tell they're gonna pick each other. I think. But like opinion. you said, they were very, in the way they were talking to each other, it was not, it, like, emotional. Mature. Like, I feel like everybody was crying in the season, but I feel like it felt mature, it felt like, you know, she felt safe mm -hmm, mm -hmm. when they, if they saw each other. She, one thing about her in the pods was she was very big on not talking about looks. Yep. She really did not want to give away her ethnicity. She didn't her voice doesn't let you know who, what type of ethnicity she is. So, yeah. Garrett, Garrett was a little bit 
I feel like he was trying he to was figure little, it out. Yeah, he was. When she said, he was like, "What's your mom's name?" And she's like, "My mom's name gives away her ethnicity." He's like, "I think it's a little conniving. I think it's a little bit, you know, calculated." I was like, "Sir, it's like her love is blind. So if she, if if it's giving away, she doesn't want to give. You don't have to. Some people do talk about it, but there's no rule. Actually, the rule should be against that. So yeah. if her name's mom, name is like Ming Wu, and she doesn't want to tell you that." But that's the thing. And I, I, I didn't like that. It I gave me Garrett like, like is, is um, used to dating white women. So most but it, likely, but it, but most it, likely. And here's the thing about I feel like going on Love Is Blind. If you have only dated one type of person, or if you're not open, to or dating, if you're not open yeah. to that, I feel like don't go on that show. But I also understand the if you've never dated somebody outside your race, I also understand wanting that. to know, wanting to know. Maybe you should not have said it, but I can understand the wanting to know and wanting to because like. It's not like you have to prepare yourself, but like it's unknown for you. You've yeah. never experienced it. Even though you know what yeah. I mean, you've never experienced it, you don't know what it's like, you don't know what So anyways, but I, I see what you're saying. But that was their, just their little thing and when he did she I mean, you know, she's half Asian, so he f- figured that out. She looks Asian. Um but they seemed attracted to each other. They had a very cute reveal. It wasn't overly sexual. No. Like I liked that. Even the kissing. They didn't kiss too much. Yeah. Which was, I actually like because I'm telling you, it was very demure. Right. Because <laughs> I actually know I actually like that they didn't kiss too much, but they were really like you know looking at each other and like taking. I feel like from them, I got that they were taking in the moment, like they were really trying to appreciate the fact that okay, yeah. now I'm here with you physically, and like we can start right. doing this. So yeah, that was all for the pods. Let's move on to honeymoons in real life. Let's do it together. Okay, so okay Let, but I said I said let's do starting let's with go with the couple we just do last we just did last so let's continue with Taylor and Garrett. At, um, Taylor at and the Garrett. Honeymoon. All right, so me, there was a comment he made at the honeymoon. Or, why is it called honeymoon? Because I'm not married. It's just the the trip. Mexico. Um, Mexico. I'm called Mexico because um, Mexico. When he was there, like he's like, yeah, like Taylor is not like the type that I would go up to in a bar or whatever. But, like, my attraction is growing. It's growing. And my thought, again, it, I could be completely wrong. He Maybe that's not what he meant. My thought was, I usually go up to blondes, white, petite blondes, and not tall, beautiful Asian women. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, but here's, oh, here, here's my thing, right? Yeah. Let's just say, let's, let's pretend you're doing the, the pods, right? Yeah. And you like tall men. Or a specific type of men. Mm-hmm. And then you go and you meet somebody emotionally and everything is good. But then you see the person and physically might not be what you go for usually. Attraction has to be built because you're attracted to his mind. But his face though. Yeah, it has to click. It has to click. But that's, that's Which is thing. another reason why. Why the hell? Would, would you I do that do show? show? Again, we've... We, We've it's been seven that. seasons. Yeah. We've established this. So that's why I'm not I'm not that. And but a shout out to the couples that can I'm make sure, it click. That can sure, are you really push. going up to people in bars? We know that men don't be I going think some people, people do that. They don't do it anymore, not this generation. <laughs> How old is Gary? I don't know. I don't it, know. Not this on generation. This, this generation, they be on Tinder and, and But I all like of the his apps. maturity. Like throughout they um you know, they were playing games. They were kind of like a couple that like other couple would come talk to and, and ask like, yo, what are you guys doing? Like y'all you know, did y'all have the the sexuals and stuff like that? The what? <laughs> the sexuals. <laughs> so we're gonna wor- we're gonna work on discussing sexual things <laughs> on camera because that was funny. <laughs> what was that? Made me uh, love. No, but uh, like no, they were they were cute. I don't remember them. I truly too much. don't remember what happened to them on the No, I don't remember them too much, but I remember I, remember I think there's other situations. There's other together. situations that about other couples that they both were discussing because I think yeah they I remember, are very close yeah. to um to um Monica to Monica and Ashley I think who's Ashley um is it Ashley no to Alex she got no who's it's Alex? not Alex oh my God Hannah Leah no I don't know she got very close to no to Marissa? Uh, not Marissa. Monica. I don't know. She got very close. To anyway, somebody. she got close to somebody. Yeah, and then she was discussing basically the relationship with with him and stuff like that. It was it was it was cute to see them discussing. discussing yeah, they had a cute bed ba- bed routine. Little... I actually I really liked them together. Like there was nothing that stood no, out for me. And they at the honeymoon. They uh, said, stage. and you said outside of the honeymoon. We and when they get home. When they get home. So wait. So when they get home. 
Um, Somebody has to move between she, them. Yeah, yeah. Basically, yeah. he has to move. Well, she would prefer him to move because she feels like she always saw herself being, I think, San Diego or mm-hmm. something. She always saw herself like raising a family there and whatever. And I think it's easier for him to just move. And they were talking about about that. And basically, she was happy about the pace. Side note: the I love was, her freckles. Yeah, she's so cute. Freckles. And like, she was happy about the pace that the relationship was going. And I feel like she was. She at some point she kind of laid the foundation when she talked to him. She was just like basically like I love you, but like I need my people to love you because otherwise yeah, it's, it's not gonna. It's not, and he was a little say, worried about that. Of course, he was who like, wouldn't be? What if like your family is just like no? Like is that like a thing for, for you? Sure. And she definitely said she would consider it. He said he made it clear that he didn't. He didn't give up yeah. what his family but, thought, which she was honest. I feel like and this is my opinion. A yeah. lot of times with immigrant families. Like, yeah. she has an Asian mother. Mm. I think a lot of times, I don't know, is we care more or we're more afraid of... Bringing people over. Or what they will think of those people. Of for sure. Do you see how we're raised? Yeah. Though? Like, we have to we have to make sure we bring somebody that makes sense. And if our parents think they don't make sense, then that and, is... And it could off. just be, like, like, not anything to do with Garrett. Like, that's what he was saying. Because, like, you know, my family may be saying stuff about you, but it has nothing to do with you. Yeah, yeah. Because it's about the situation, which he can connect. But she may be like... Oh, they hate the situation, therefore they hate you. Because but it's I, like, because me, thing. I know my parents would be like, "What are you doing? What is this? No, my, you hate. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing what? I to would, win, I win, win. would never. I would never. You but, know him how but, long? But, but I thought it was very cute that you know they were in that in that moment where they were like, okay, let's check each other's social media. Yeah, and it was the was funniest cute. thing because he was like, okay, I love fish, <laughs> and he was like, I so go fish. They, I just love that they have. They both had the science thingy tattoo, I, and the meeting the parents. And how I loved how she talked to his parents and how she reassured the mom. And not in saying, I reassure you, but mm-hmm. what she was saying, I was just like, the mom cried. I think she felt it, yeah. Yeah, she felt she it. Because she, I felt it too. Same. I was just like, it's, I, it's I, very cute, I, very I, I think they're so mature. I, I Mon- love them Monica, together. Uh, not Monica, child. What's her name? Who? What's her name? Taylor, Taylor is just... I love them. The, the peak emotional maturity to me. And Garrett matches her perfectly and mm-hmm. her friends when her friends were like yo we we ain't seen her like we didn't know stuff like that could happen okay we was like it's about to be y'all <laughs> if that's <laughs> that's anyways, definitely gonna be it that's gonna be I'm y'all so confused um but anyways that's, we can, that's we can not that. that's, um, but, but basically i i also liked how they were discussing the wedding and stuff like that like no basically i love them just Quick side note, when he went to her house, to her apartment, he was like, this is a bachelor pad. You have protein shakes and beer in your fridge. She didn't have no food. She didn't have nothing, but it was a cute little, it was a cute little space. <laughs> uh, you know, she didn't have no windows, though. I am a, I need light in my space, yeah. but I think, I guess she's traveling a lot for it. I don't know what she's doing exactly, but whatever. I don't know what none of these people do. But yeah, I, I, think, think, um, I think they were cute. I remember just seeing Tyler's job in that last scene. I was like, what do you do? Tyler's yeah. a consultant so, in nu- nuclear energy. Nuclear. Oh, okay. All right, see, these people, some some of them have jobs. Now, okay, let's do, I want to do this because they're a little toxic. Let's do Hannah and Nick. Ooh. Hannah and Nick at the honeymoon. Oh, child. They get to, I'm so confused, bro. Like, I I don't, see, here's here's the thing. After the whole debacle with Leo and everything, I saw Hannah and and Nick go into it, and I was just like, and now I don't like her. (laughs) No. And here's the thing. So Nick is being playful. He's being like, Oh, like there was ducks or whatever. He's like, okay, let's go race on the ducks. You know, you do silly things. She when came you're off love, very unlikable, okay? but she be, did even before the ducks. Yeah, even before the, the ducks. But for me, had, was like, she had been making like since they uh, came. She, I don't know if it's a. Th- I was trying to figure it out because somebody on Twitter said it's her trying to get him before he gets her because she's insecure. There could be an aspect of that, like trying to make jokes so that I don't get joked on. But Nick was not saying nothing to you. He's not... Like, you are commenting on this man's height. You're commenting how he ain't, don't look like the, what he said he was going to look like a football player. You're being mean as hell. You're commenting on the shirts that he wear. Like, he's yeah. not... The outfits ain't good for you. I was like, Hannah, so you're the baddest. You just dressed to the nines out here. As it, it's like, yeah, she was making a lot of comments. Why? She like, you just met very, this guy. She was just being... To be honest, I was just... Ugh, she was just annoying to me, and I was just like. And then we get to tell about not talk no, about the ducks. No, because it's like the ducks. Okay, so here's the thing. Again, when you like somebody or when you're in love, you do silly things, and there's people that are yeah. a bit more silly. Then it's others, just like yeah. that than others, and 
if you love somebody or if you like somebody you're just gonna have to appreciate these things even if they're annoying to you you're just gonna participate and join in and or pretend to cheer because that's just what you do mm. and this movie's like okay let's go on the docks and let's do a race it's fun we're on vacation we're in mexico like you can't do that everywhere so he's like he goes and she's like no i'm not going it's whack like no she's like he's gonna give me the ick to see you write something so here's, and my, I was just like, here's my question Christ. would you have that was stupid as fuck too i'm sorry i'm not trying not to i would have been on the duck my man like oh i would have been on the you know you know i do silly stuff yeah you would have been on when the i'm duck. comfortable with somebody you know you would have been, been on the duck i would have been like babe go on the duck I'm gonna watch. I'm gonna film you even. That's what you see, but I, that's what I'm saying. But I'm you not getting on the duck. But here's the thing: <laughs> you would have participated in a way. That's yeah, what I mean. I she didn't even. I love seeing you happy. Like, if, I mean, if that's your person, like me, you that makes you giggle. Go ahead. No, I don't mean on the duck because me. I'm trying to. First of all, I'm trying to win that race now. Like, I need to get there before you. Me, yeah, I would have been so, like, go ahead on the duck, baby. Let's see how quickly you can get to the line. Let's go ahead. But Hannah was like, ugh, ugh writing things. And then Ooh, I don't she felt that. away because he invited somebody, a random person I was on so vacation he, no, to. But he goes alone, yeah. And, she, and there's a, a older, she seemed like an older woman, but pretty older lady. And she goes, yeah, let me, you know, she's going to race with him. Yeah. Ever since the lady came, Hannah got a face now. She's like, oh. She got an attitude. She, Why you really got attitude? really going to do this? And the girl was like, yeah, don't be jealous. But she wasn't saying it, don't be jealous, as in, like, I'm trying to take your man. She was just saying, like, yeah, don't worry about it. She was just like, like a good joke like, type thing. Just, like, you know just when just how them older people be on vacation? They just be, they've been drinking the all-inclusives all she day. She was She really wasn't that She's old. in her, she's older than them. They're 28 and 26. Yeah, she's older than them, but she's. They're like, she's definitely in her mid-40s. I think she was. I think she was. I think she may look she, it. She she looked Mexican and she looked like she's aging aging amazingly. I don't know, but to be honest, or Latina, something like I was I was whatever. Just very disappointed in her lack of participate, participating. I was saying in, because in I knew her she partner's I, happiness, but she didn't like him like that. So. I knew that she was no. I but feel she like she was, she kept trying to bring him down a peg, and I was like, that is one of the lowest things to do. I hate when people try to do it. Somebody's happy, and you want to make them unhappy. Or you want to like, let this man go on the duck. I and was you like, about, girl, it's gonna give me the ick to like, see you write it? anything. I don't like when men write things. And shout out to Nick for just being like, okay, I'm gonna write it still. I feel like in my head, she had this idea and this image of what a man should look like. And you know, the very stereotypical manly things to do. Like, I'm a football player. Like, I'm big. I'm tough. I'm into sports and stuff. I don't do silly things because I'm a man. And like, I feel like that's the idea that she probably had in her head. Because head she's so independent and she seems super alpha. She's like when I found out she's been on her own since eighteen. When I see how she cleans her own, when I she's very much get it done, yeah, and she wanted to a person like that. But no, you can't is, expect yourself out of somebody. That's else. what I'm saying. Or she wanted somebody that could at least help her with these things. But she's teaching. She didn't want to be teaching. Also, here's the thing. She annoys. So what you just said about teaching. So she was telling the girls like, yeah, I keep te teaching him things. Like I feel like hopefully at some at some point one day he's gonna teach me things. That I was just like, fuck. so when she was cleaning, for example, the apartment, and she clearly is a part of those people that clean daily, daily, but like on another level. You know what I mean? Like everybody has their own style of cleaning, but she clearly is on. Yeah, that's what she is. And not everybody is like that. And I feel like once you live with somebody, you need to like accommodate to their style. Like you compromise on some stuff. And I was just like, baby girl, um, yeah, you may that may be overboard. But when I saw that you couldn't boil pasta, I said no. No, <laughs> I, I was. Said, I'm <laughs> sorry. The confusion. Is, like, do I put it on medium? Do, how, do I fill it halfway? Said, do I put it full? I was like, and then he was like, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I boiled <laughs> pasta. What? How did I, how did I boil pasta? Like, she boil, like, I only did it once before. I was like. You see, she was right to tell him not to help her in the kitchen. Because I'm saying this man's Cuban mama be cooking down and that man don't know nothing about Okay, but here's my thing. If you don't know real quick, just TikTok it or YouTube it real quick on your phone. If you don't know, just don't say it. Nikki D not thinking that far. Oh my Nikki's God. here for a good time. No, I'm sorry. He said, he said, it's been a while for the pasta and I. <laughs> and her friends was like. Oh Again, this is one of those moments I ran to Twitter and I was like. <laughs> How can you go? So, God. but going back to that, so they had that duck thing, very awkward. Mm. She goes back to the room, writes a list of the things she don't like about. <laughs> I was like, man, this was such a twenty-six-year-old thing to yeah, do. Yeah, she's twenty-six. I was like, but even though I don't think I would have written a list on something and for him to see, like maybe it would have been on my phone, but still, it's a little I'm not bit petty. That. I was just like, I'm not doing that at like. I was like, the fact that he, she left it there for him to see on purpose. 
I say that is that's just me, girl. That's just me. But that that brings me to like when they met her parents and the dad was like, Yeah, she's like they even told her, they were like, You need to you need to relax. The parents told her. The parents because told it seems like, like her family knows her brother said it too. Yeah. Her family knows who she is. And her 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 little brother was saying something about I guess he plays football or he wants to, she was, he was he, she, football, football. and she was like, he was like, you want to be a kicker or something? Yeah. He, he was like, no. <laughs> and I was like, no, no, no. He's giving quarterback energy. Like, as if like, you know, yeah, yeah whatever no, you do. Heard. And, and then the mom says something like, yeah, my kids, like, they could lack a lot of things, but confidence is not one of them. I'm like, ma'am, it's, it's more like arrogance, yeah. but sure, you know? It is, but I'm so glad that the dad really told her, like, nah, you need to... Because the mom's like, you need to relax, because he seems happy, you seem like you're... But I'm you thinking know? she's not relaxed at all. She's but I, I think for reminding me that her, her mama locked the cabinets when she was a child, because I was like... That's probably why she left. I'm not going to lie to you, this is probably the type of trauma... Because if That's she locked the cabinet, traumatic. she probably did other things, and I'm like... Because nah. there's other... And I see, like, my cousins with kids... There's it's other ways to get your children to be healthy, but also without outside, outside of that. scarring them. Um... A lot of parents don't know how to do that. I'm just saying this out of love you guys. Love my parents. But I'm just saying when it comes to like food and stuff like that, people don't know what the fuck to how do. do it, but and not. seriously, but that is one of the most traumatic things um, to do. And this what creates like bad relationship with food What's later on in life and bad relationship with your parents because you end up resending them for things like that. So, but outside of that, you know, um, so, okay. That's that for them. Let's maybe go Oh, you want to skip, you want to finish with them? I just want to yeah. say one thing about them in the apartment. Uh, when they start talking about finances, Ooh, yeah. I do want to say, so it's clear that Nick and her live very different lives. He is two years older, but they live different lives. He's in real estate, but he still lives at home. She has been on her own for eight years now, and she has a routine. He has a routine, but, you know, relies on his parents. to. He's like, well, if they want to pay my phone bill, if they want to do this. I don't hate on that. I can't hate on that. Have you seen the economy? No, I feel like there's some like my phone bill. I'm gonna pay that. No, I no, I hear you. But again, have you seen the economy? I'm just saying it's like I can't I can't hate in 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 the context of that. Should in the context of wanting to build a relationship with somebody, some of the answers were kind of. Uh, but I'm just saying like in this in this <laughs> the economy conversation. Yeah, in this economy, what I would say is if whatever he's doing, being at home and his parents taking care of certain things allows for him to save up money to do something afterwards if that's what he's doing i'm not but sure but it seems like he's doing nothing that's, at his parents house that's he's doing real estate listen again i don't know but i'm just saying and if 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 that's the thing because i listen i'm from paris bro i i have some people that still live with their parents till this day and they, or they're barely moving yeah, but I'm they're 30 adults, years old but they'd be adults yeah so. they'd be adults they'd and be adults. he seemed on that end, because yeah, no, emotionally, I could tell his parents really love him and they're great parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Emotionally, he's up here. And Hannah, don't know how to talk to people. Terrible. But life skill wise, no, for sure. He has some growing to do. And a, the, a woman like Hannah, is she going to accept it or not? Do you really love him or not? I don't know. I don't think so. Um, yeah, agreed. But so Tim and Alex. Who child? Okay, so let me Tim, tell you something about them on the so honeymoon, on, the, on Mexico. You're talking about you loved him and Alex. Sure. No, I, I told you, I, at, in the pods. In the pods? Not during the honeymoon, but like now, no, I told you now, after, now okay. like I have a little, mm. Cause Alex, let me tell you what she did. She got the, she has, she has the goofy ex. I have the goofy ex too. I just need y'all to understand. When a ninja is too goofy. Yeah. Me okay. and my gag reflex. <laughs> I need y'all to understand that the day I see her laugh at somebody's stupid <laughs> jokes. <laughs> I'm gonna be so happy. I cannot wait to see it. But I get it. There's some stuff, yo, like an ex of mine would be, was Goofy. just like Tim. Like, would just be like jokes. We talking about real stuff, and you just out here, man, this has to be a joke now. I'm like, mm. but here's the and thing. It, it don't be good ones. But if, if you like somebody for real, for real, you'll overlook that. And that's the thing. No, I promise you. There's a level because I'm not. I'm. I'm saying. Not when I'm trying to be serious. No, for sure. There's also moments to do that. But goofy is nice. There's a level of goofy. I'm okay because people think like, oh, like think I'm always serious. I listen clearly. I ain't shit. Clearly, y'all see. However, I'm like, what? <laughs> no, like meaning like I ain't shit in terms of like. Oh my god. I'll be. I don't take myself seriously like that. Like I'll no, say whatever no. yeah. and tell joke. But like it's just for me, it's time and place, and it's knowing the quantity. What Tim was doing, like you said, you've said one. Mm -hmm. 
why are we doing three, four, five? You like he would keep going, and Alex and you and I'm like, do you are you reading her her face? It's saying, I'm dry. True, but here's also here's also the thing with those experiences and those things. You don't want to stop being yourself because somebody is that's and that I think that's why love is blind is complicated. It's because you are getting to learn and know somebody in a short, in a very short, short time. amount of time. And if and, I'm gonna marry somebody. I'm gonna be me. If you don't like it, then maybe we don't need to be. That's married. fair. That's and my that, and, that, and I think that that's what. But see, there's also a thing where like if we do love each other as much, there has to be a meet in the middle somewhere. For so sure. So we come because we come out of the pods. Now we've been talking in the pods. Yeah, we got to know each other in a way, but clearly not enough because I don't think he talked to Alex enough to know her quirks and stuff. Mm-hmm. But when you come out, now you're in each other's space Mm -hmm. now you see how you act in the real world so that is what they're adjusting to yeah he sees that she's more of a sarcastic like stoic person and he's more of a just goofy laugh person but he's also super mature which i love um i like how he's a man and he's and he's confident in himself in himself which i love but and he was he was telling me he's like I think I'm she said I think I'm boss or whatever he's like he's like you could try like I'm gonna move an object like like he I love how sure of himself oh, he yeah, is just like, okay. but yeah that was giving her the ick and, and I could see that she was kind of being she wasn't open to cause cause like you said and you have to they're not later in the relationship not years down when you're no. like oh he's annoying me no you just met him. like you have to try and like give him grace he maybe he's nervous maybe he's like you know we have to try and understand each other she was giving yeah. no grace it was like it has to be my way you have to stop and that's where she got on my nerves there was no self-reflection on her part mm-hmm. then netflix this one ch- where's the where were y'all that we missed this fight apparently uh, no, uh, for real. Um, I need whoever did the editing. Well, whoever approved of the editing to tell me where they did not. D- did y'all not have the footage? Like, what happened? Because what if all this money I'm sending y'all each month? First of all, we're sending y'all a lot of money, and y'all are canceling and y'all all the good it? shows. And y'all, are, y'all are making a miss. Y'all miss. First of all, the y'all shows miss that y'all this girl putting on, her her. You not even her hand on everything. his mouth. Y'all, y'all, y'all miss this. No, because also, here's the thing. I feel like the second we would have seen this, I'd have been like, I'm, man, I'm, I'm gonna like, sir, just drop her. Th- that's, that's And done. that's what we're Tim was about to do. So we get a, see a scene where Don't it's it, like a oh next day, and he comes into the room. It seems like he hasn't been sleep. He didn't sleep in the room. Yeah, and he they, comes, the energy was, you could tell you the could energy tell was on some, yeah, I'm done. Something had happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They sit down, and, and it's, they're talking in fragments. I'm like, what is happening? Yeah, we all trying to figure out. Me trying to figure <laughs> yeah, out. Wait, I did like, I? Miss, I was like, did I miss something? Did I miss something? I'm rewinding. And sh- I'm like, oh no, this is just happening right now. Yeah. And they're like, yeah. So they had an argument. They didn't say exactly what was said, but Tim said he was called out of his name. Uh, That's already too much. Because who? I'm like, who are you? Like, you. My thing is the comfortability to be able to just but also, also outside of that this is the second day we're together why are you grabbing my mouth to tell me to shut up no because what we're not gonna do he was trying to explain himself and talk and oh. she put his her i mean her hand over his mouth and i said that's high form of disrespect i promise you here's the thing here's the thing i am not for fighting anyone physically or like you know watch what you're about to say i'm watching what i'm about to say i know you would have. This is the kind of situation. If you're a man, you walk out. If there's yeah. me, me and another woman right now, me yeah. and somebody else, somebody does that to me, we're fighting. And I, in his, in his, again, like I said, this is a situation for a man to just be like, let me remove Which myself I think from is the situation. What he was trying to do, but she, he said she kept going and kept going. And I was like, and he's saying, I can do see. not touch people. I don't. I don't see how that's complicated. How and, is it complicated? And here's the thing too, Alex sat there and didn't deny not one thing. So no, I knew. Knows. She knows. Everything that he said happened. And I was like, and, and the fact was I was not surprised because I saw I see it in her. And and but here's where He's I like think you don't let me speak. But here's where I think this was good for them. Even though very toxic, not great to do second day. Here's where I think it was good for them. No, okay. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm about because to tell you. We... Because she now sees. <laughs> because because he was about to he was about to end it all. She Fought for it a he little bit. She said, "Production," and he said, "I'm done." That's how bad it is. Because he came to end it, but she came, hat in hand. She was ready to apologize. Not really. Bit. She she tried to fight a little bit. At some point, I she like, tried to. I was like, "Girl, shut up." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but then after she was like, "You know, you're right," and she she said, "I'm sorry. I don't want this to be the end," type of thing. 
you can see it in his his eyes. His wheels were turning. He's like, do I believe her? Do I da da da? And yeah. she's like, because that sets a very because if she start if she that, here's the thing. I feel like that's her one chance. If she does something like that again, he's out. That's what I'm saying. So you know, he's she comes up to him. She's cuddling, hugging, and I can see he's like, okay, girl, but we on thin ice. Why I say it was good for him because now she knows. Oh, he's not playing. True. She even went to see the girls and she was like, okay, so he was eating sleep. He didn't sleep here last night. Like he was he ready to his bag. He was And she was like, I don't know his men's number. I don't know his social media. Like how do I she's find like, him? She's like, I knew if he left, I was never going to see him again. Yeah, you were not. She, she's like, okay, this is like, he's a man. Like I can, like, even though I, I cause I think what she was doubting was his manhood before. Yeah, the goofiness, he, the stuff was is. like, but not, no, but. No, but I, I see what you're saying, but here's my thing. There's a, there's men out there that I've been saying this about certain women. There are certain men that I've been saying, we, this is the type of things that I don't want to be dealing with. I don't want to be de dealing with people putting their hands on me. I don't want to be dealing with people that call me out my name and stuff like that. And it's like, I feel like she's lucky that he give her, gave her a second chance because it's just like, this is the type of things where if somebody calls you out your name and you tell me this, like, why are you even still talking to him? You know what I mean? Facts. It's not even just me as a friend. It's just like in general, in life, no, these absolutely. are things that you That's shouldn't even accept for yourself. Friend, but, he, but even for a man, like if a guy friend now comes and he says, oh, right, my yes. girl called me, I would be like, no, like th this same, is not how same. you speak to I would somebody. say this, is especially because... So, but I'm trying to think myself out of the real world context because this, they, what they just experienced is not... Yes, how I would do it. It is not. So, but putting your putting your hand on somebody's mouth when they're speaking, I would never do that. No, and that's what I'm second, saying. But I'm trying to say what names. I still tell the person to leave. I'm saying maybe I would say like Ty, like not Tyler, like Tim, give her one more chance because of the situation, and she has apologized and she recognizes her fault. Let's see one more time. But then after, you're not getting three strikes. This is two strikes. System. My thing is, remember when when they say when somebody uh, shows you, you know. When somebody shows you or tells you who they are, believe them. And I feel like that for me, that thing right there, even yeah. though now, like with the newer episodes, like I, I like them because of certain, certain situations. It's yeah. just like, for me, that was a very, that was a flag. But I, but it, it <laughs> the waving flag. Um, I thought that for him as well, it allowed him to see, okay, I, I can go a little too far. He's toned it down. In his, like, I'm still thinking he's himself because they're still laughing with each other, but he knows her. It's like knowing your partner's limits. No, for sure. And I think he, ha they have found that balance now because we move forward out of the, the honey. Okay, the, first the, of all, the Mexico. I'm just going to say this because the, the guys. Now we're home and we're meeting thing. families. We're meeting families and he, they had a little moment where she was like, okay, so with my dad, my dad's going to be there. Like, you know, her, yeah, dad, she prepped her dad has um, mobility MS. issues. I think he has MS, if yes, I'm not MS? mistaken. Yeah, I think he has MS. If I'm not mistaken, maybe it's not MS. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, like, she was saying, like, he can't move that much. But I think uh, it would be nice for you to speak to him in Ooh, private really and blah, blah, already, blah. And, yeah. guys, when I tell you, like, this was a very wholesome moment. They really all talked together. And at some point, it was like, excuse me, if you guys wouldn't mind going outside. Because I want to talk to him specifically. And she has a beautiful family. Back. And the thing I that I love that he did, he didn't even try to, like say anything to that it was just like i wrote a letter to your daughter but it was addressed to you in a pod and it's the fact that we all know that this is actually where the he read letter. her yeah, it's yeah. the same letter he read the letter and the dad was crying and i promise you guys i was in tears i, I was, was in there. full tears i i, I was i was, I was so actually beautiful. near my dad it was like i watched it it was on my father's birthday Aww. and i was like i went and saw my dad i was like talking because it hit home because my dad has mobility issues after having some strokes a few years back and um he reminded me of my father so cute. and it was just like oh my god i want to give him this moment i want to give him this i know he will be so yeah. happy and it's just like yeah when i say it was so beautiful and when he said to call everyone back because he wanted to share and then he yes. said he was like where are my sons and then the, my his sons son. came in and he was like, like meet your, your new, new brother, brother. yeah i was like i like see your daddy i don't think if, you understand how i love seeing black love when i say black love not just black love like families, relationship but yeah. flat families and yeah. things like this it is the most i loved thing. it and i was just like alex yeah. see if this is your family unit 
despite your little messy apart because it's messy um i'm for me it's not just that i'm like do your parents know you be putting your hands on people's mouths or no so, so this is the past i mean it's, it's the past no I'm, i get it but i'm still keeping that in mind because if something happens oh, again you have to keep it in mind if this happens again there was i a, won't be surprised if he says well she did something like that i again really hope then. for your sake alex and 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 please i hope y'all can get the, it together please be the couple that we like this season, because we please. we had one yeah, and let's go to ruined, them. They ruined it. And we, we thought, so we have Ashley and Tyler. Oh, God. They came back. I don't, because since the last scene, I don't remember what happened with them. Okay. They, he met her parents, too. Yeah, her dad was a, he was a cool dude. Also, her dad was so cool. Yeah, yeah. he was. Because when the dad pulled up, I was like, that's her dad? Yeah, he was like, fly. I was, was like, okay, like, all right. I was like, okay. Don't go to lie. I love this kind of vibes. Yeah, parents. I love that. Um, um, I don't remember his family at all. No, like basically, they were her, not her dad. Him. He was like, "Yeah, can I have your daughter's hand in marriage?" The dad was like, "Yeah, listen, if she's he happy, said, absolutely. Who am I to tell her how to find happiness?" He cried which too. I love. He cried in the yeah, little um, so interview thing. That was that was cute. Did we meet his family? I don't recall. I don't remember seeing Cause that. Because we can't, because... Anyways. We, anyways, I don't remember seeing that, but I remember, like, in in the honeymoon, because we have to talk about the honeymoon phase. Oh, yeah, what happened? The honeymoon phase. They were cute. That's all I remember. They oh, were yeah. Cute. They, and they were cute. They, they were... They was praying they, before bed. He was holding yeah. hands and praying. He was making a lot of promises. He was like, I want to have that relationship where I can pray with somebody and things like that. And it's like... Here's what I took. I took my notes. I was like... That's the moment so I texted funny. Emmy when I was like... um sorry ashley i want him what because it's like where are these people where are they um but now now, now that we know for himself praying for me praying for us as a unit but it's like but now that we know yeah i thought that's, that's why i was like is he playing game because that's why that's why i have trust issues guys you talk about villain origin stories y'all talking about like oh why are you always like this is this is words from people that have actually said shit to me why are you always doubting why are you always looking at the negative no because i cannot trust men yeah, I just listen. Yeah, it's just true. watching the latest episodes of this couple because, like, again, they were my favorite couple. Like, I they were, really, they were my favorite couple. I was like, oh my god, whatever. And like, learning that, learning everything that we learned on social media, all over TikTok, everywhere, on Twitter, and watching the scenes with this man actually praying with this woman and telling her all the beautiful things in the world. And then this is, what <laughs> and then to turn around and tell us. That he got a couple sperm babies. And um, it's like, and it's like. Can I say sperm on YouTube? I don't know. Yeah, you but, get the sperm babies? These, the oh internet, before gosh. this episode dropped, the internet had already figured out that Mr. Tyler had three children that he never mentioned to us. Uh, apparently, he never mentioned them because maybe he don't see them as his children because they were, um, he, they were a sperm donors. A sperm donor. Uh, to a married uh, lesbian couple where the story gets muddled is that it wasn't done in uh but it's from which i don't know how to say in english yeah um, basically he didn't do it properly he didn't uh, yes and he cheated the wife che- oh, child. hold on the wife of the in one of the wives in the lesbian couples cheated on her wife by not telling her wife that she'll sleep with him and they conceived these children one of them was conceived the way it was supposed to but two others weren't I, I think that's what I understand. TikTok, let me know if I'm wrong. Comments, let me know if I'm wrong. But either way, there's some dishonesty going on here. Well, he said he has two boys and a and girl. One girl. And then he said that he's not, like, involved uh, because he's a sperm donor. But he is because, you know, that's behind right. the camera, fourth wall, we have seen pictures of them on Christmases. He's carrying these children. I'm confused. So do you have... And, what Ashley was trying to say was like, yo, how did you even have those conversations with me? Like, we literally just talked about how many children we want to have. Was it not the time to say, by the way, even if you were just a sperm donor, like, by the way, I have three biological children. And he owes child support. I'm sorry. He owes th- <laughs> allegedly, 30, allegedly, allegedly, everything is alleged. Thirty thousand dollars in child support. And apparently, and allegedly, he's a thief. I heard that he stole from his ex. Um, Remember that time where he said. There's people from my past that are gonna say things. He's like, by the way, I don't steal. Uh, um, um, do you? 
So here's my thing. Some people were like, on Twitter were like, producers, y'all don't do background checks. At this point, just reveal who's going to be on the show and we're going to do the background checks for you. <laughs> and it's so funny to me because I'm, sure I'm sure the producers knew some stuff. But it's more they interesting for TV, yeah. for TV to have stuff like that on. Even though, Can you uh, do even does that show up on your, like, if you do a background check, does it show up if you have I, I children who aren't if you rec- your... If you didn't recognize the children, I don't think it counts. But um, my thing is, right? How would you feel about that? About what? <laughs> How would you feel if your man uh huh mm, mm. tells you mm. y'all been talking for a while? Let's say mm-hmm. so allegedly. Mm. Let's say it was three weeks, <laughs> <laughs> but you're engaged. Mm. Yeah, crazy. I would never. <laughs> and uh-huh. he says, oh, "It's two weeks for our wedding." <laughs> by the way, by the way, I have uh, three sperm babies. <laughs> three what? <laughs> What? So how are you reacting to that? <laughs> Bye. <laughs> First of all, we've known each other for what, two weeks? Bye. So my thing with Ashley no. was, where was the bye? That's where I kept waiting to hear. And I didn't hear a bye. I saw a hug. And I heard an I love you. I w- here, here's my thing. You're telling me that you're not involved with the kids. Now they're in the real world. I'm taking a photo of this man. I'm going on. Are we dating the same? You know that group? Ooh, yes. I'm going on that group. Yeah. I'm posting up the picture and I'm saying, oh, I'm putting it on Twitter. And I'm like, guys, I'm Do dating this guy. Please find him. Do you you think? know that Twitter will find him. Oh, Twitter in, in a day. Even, they will find him. But then, I mean, they probably have rules on social media used during the filming of they the show. They probably do. But I was just like, girl, I would, like, they would be, I would be do, your I would early be days, your it, early girl. days, you haven't got me, this yeah. is a big lie of a mission. That's big. Yeah. If he lie about that, well, this is the thing that says, I'm like, why didn't he say that during the pods? Because he could have said, listen, I have three kids and da 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 and if she was okay with it, like, you know, if he had said that uh-huh. in the pods and she still was okay with it, at least that would have been better. But not, like, before we're getting married, by the way. There's a I'm saying that's, like, if you if you lie, you'll cheat. If you cheat, you'll steal. And if you steal, you will kill. And I'm just saying, hmm. that was a big lie. for Especially because it's not really the real, real reality. It's based on allegedly what right, we know from Right, and you're still media. lying. You, you, so if you're going to tell the truth... I can't truth, wait to see the real Tell the truth and the be, whole truth. It's about to be hilarious. Like, you didn't see what happened to Trevor? Like, I'm like... Oh, I forgot about it. I'm just saying, like, why are you come on here and lie when you know damn well? And then, when you tell her the truth, you tell her half-truths. So, I mean, now, I'm sorry. Ashley deserves better. I like her, and she deserves better than you, she really does. Mr. Tyler. She really does. She was some less complicated child. You go deal with your lesbian baby mamas and let's, let's stop. Let's no. But are they really though? I don't know. Because apparently people are like, yeah, you scrubbed the mom out of social media and he was actually really involved until he went on the show. So I'm like, I'm like, Please. oh my God, I can't wait for a reading. But also, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Um, I know somebody that may or may not have been approached um, for a love is, uh, love is blind cast <laughs> yeah. casting uh, by a producer, and um, the way the person was telling me the questions they were asking or whatever, I don't think they vet you that much. They really just be wondering like, would you be down to go on a show? They vet your personality. Oh no, they don't care. They look at your social media real quick and how you maybe for the UK they tried a little harder. I feel they did because the casting was way more mature. So, but um, yeah, then. Marissa and Ramsey's, let me tell you something. They were just... They are horny as hell. They were just... They got to that honeymoon all over and got other. to business. Right away. And <laughs> right away, right away, right away. We didn't have no question. Like, Marissa was like, we had, we did it, we had. And she was like, it's so yeah. passionate. I, I was like, it. I was like, I was like, you know, the, everything's, everything's good. Everything's, yeah. And I was like, Okay. I was glad for them. Not I was glad. happy for her. Hey, I was like, Rand is okay. I, I, every time I see him, I want to cut the two braids. I want to... But, shout out to him. Um, I need to they, pull out my nose on them. because They I had a... Uh, at the honeymoon, um, they were just... For me, they were, they were cute. They were just having sex, doing little cute outfits. That's it. Oh my God. But, yes, they, but, they, that's the thing. And I love how she was like, oh my God, they're fit, whatever. Sorry, like, the way they... Together? She, yeah, love. she... Love. She... He fits for her. Like, even all the couples, when they did the meeting, they were like, they were like, yeah. They make sense. Because <laughs> they do. Because they, like, they make so much sense. But, like, uh, yeah, Honeymoon was fine. Then and I guess they went back. They were planning their wedding. And she was like, I want a black wedding. He was like, no. <laughs> was, they want a Oh, the, she was like, you're going to I love gro- how he also you're was. You're going to do a groom he, He's like, good no, at, at putting like, his foot down, too, about what yeah. he doesn't want. Because she said, you know, it'll be cute to just, like, 
everybody in black and, and we are in white. I wanted and him like, to be like, is it a funeral? I wanted him to say this <laughs> so bad. I think that's a really bad idea. Just like side note, like in my opinion, that unless, aesthetically in my head, it doesn't look unless good. Unless you're but. doing like a goth themed wedding where the roses are black like you're doing like a really black and white theme that could be really cute but you need to be in that aesthetic and i don't know if that's I would their even aesthetic go they look way more red colorful. wedding than black black is just yeah but i feel like it's more they are more colorful well, people well look instead of dressing but it, black like the omen but he was um, like he was like cooking they were super cute because like he was like cooking for her even though the pasta were not cooked like how Anyways, but like he was cooking. People don't like pasta. It's, it's, it's okay. At least, it, at least he cooked. You know what I mean? At least he tried yeah. something. And now he knows that we need the pasta on. Oh, longer. Over, over that meal, actually, they had a, a nice conversation. Oh. And then you spoke about the wedding. So first they were talking about what kind of efficient, because they both grew up in, I, I think both of them, grew up in very religious yeah, she, uh, homes. She grew up uh, Mormon. Mormon. And, and he, he grew, grew up, up um, Christian, Christian, I believe. Now are Mormons, sorry, stupid age. Are Mormons not Christians? I have no idea. Okay. Wait, so no, I need to know. I just, I don't know if that, I'm just asking because I wasn't sure exactly like what a Mormon is. I'm so sorry. I should be smarter than this. But. Oh, wow. That's the first thing on Google when you said are Mormons, it comes, that's the first really? thing. Yeah. Uh, oh, it's within Christianity. Really? And it's, uh, nearly all Mormons self-identify as Christians. That's from Wikipedia. So, you know. Okay. Okay, yeah. Um, so, and what does that have... You know what? Let's not get, go down this rabbit hole because I was going to ask a stupid question. But yeah, so she they both grew up hyper-religious and they both have um, moved away from religion and they're both more spiritual. But Marissa seems to be more like, I'm not against religion. Like, because I think she... She spoke about some positive things that the Mormon church did for her and like, she, those were some of the greatest people she's but, ever met. But she's like, yeah, like, it's not for me. She was like, and she doesn't like, want the wedding, the marriage the to mar be under uh, under religion. She's like, what she did say that, and, and I think Ramsey's agreed. They'll teach their kids about religion and allow them to explore, you know, explore and make that choice. But at their wedding, they're not sure. But then Ramsey said he's pretty sure that his mom will want something Christian at the wedding. Yeah. Because so I don't know what that meant exactly. But even but like, was like she probably would be fine with just having a prayer with me before. Yeah, or something which like is that, cute. which is fine. And and. And, but that was the light part of the conversation. I mean, to, for the religion part to be the light part of the conversation is funny. But then they go to military. I don't remember how they got on that topic. But they go to her military experience. She used to be in the um, Navy for a while. And he's very anti-military, which I get it. many people are. Yeah. And he's, you know, he's, Ramses is woke adjacent. Somebody said online is Hotepi adjacent, and I died. Okay, actually read that comment and was like, okay. <laughs> so I, okay. I, hey, you Ma notice how I didn't move? Um, I know, but that's why I laughed because of that. Mm. So yeah, but he's definitely. They had a very open conversation about anti-military, his stance, what it represents for his people. He's from Venezuela. Um, you know, we know that Aaron is just pro Palestine. To sit up publicly on a Netflix show, it was just and that's my thing. Sorry to cut you off. Yeah, go ahead. That's my thing. I that's that's what I want to say about the producers of the show for this season. I just I just want to like applaud that not necessarily st stating that it's like an amazing thing to be to do but it's just on an american platform for you to publicly have that length of conversation they didn't cut they, they probably got other parts but like for you to have his full speech about the full why he doesn't a, like a the military and and you know the implications morally because they did have a second part of that conversation with friends with like friends. the implications and the morally, hard line that he put the hard line that he, that he puts where it's like morally speaking if you're for the military or if he, you was, were he, to was really he was well, really he was really trying to he make care if she was for no, it, but, it's, but if he if she was actively participating, no, for sure. But it, it's even like when he was trying to make her realize, he's like, "But you signed up for it." She's yeah. like, "Yeah, but I, I didn't I didn't measure the implications of like signing up for it." And she made a good like, point too because like, they were like people. a lot of them are eighteen or very young no, kids that make sure. this decision. But here's the thing: it's like healing herself. Even when she was saying like, she's like, "Yeah, I understand." She's how like, it sounds. "I understand how how it sounds," and she's like, "Yeah, like I." press the button where people were like i did some things where people ended up and she has to admit that and live with that she has to she has to live with that and and even like 
I loved that they let this whole conversation play out because I think it's really important to show that also they could be on different end of the spectrum when it comes to a certain topic but still respect each other even though he really drew the line and he but was his just like, line this is, is like, you this will is not, firm, like you will you not. Were still a, he's like two years ago, she's like two years ago you want to date No, he said he's no. like no. And even when he met her, he met her friends later on and Because you can tell the friends are she's also going very pro-military. Yeah, he was like, she's was, going back? It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm not, like, done, divorce. Leave. Divorce, and I uh, one more thing. If you love her, yeah, but more. And when he said that, morally speaking, we're on different ends of the compass. They were like, oh, morally, we're not morally the same. You're not morally the same if you're actively participating. And in, you like he said it so. It's the fact that they use U.S. imperialism on a show in the United States. I was just like. Yeah. I am so glad you let this whole conversation play out. It was beautiful. Something you don't see all the time. Thank you was, for this. That's beautiful. what I was Shout out to you, Netflix. Then a Just couple more things. Just because y'all still cancel Chaos and the OA and a lot of other shows. Y'all need to get it together. <laughs> she said y'all ate that one thing. Um, now, just a couple more things on them. So they had a meeting. Her, her family. Her mom. Her mom and her siblings. Her siblings seem cool. Her sister is the only one that spoke. I don't know. But yeah. um, her mom, her mom has trauma. interesting... Her mom is Points. traumatized. She, okay, I, and this is where I need people to stop. Okay, she's traumatized. I don't care. It doesn't give you a pass to be rude. No, it no, no. It doesn't just, give no. you a pass to be a... a, a I'm sorry. Like, mm -hmm. she was... I wasn't saying this as a pass. I'm just Within saying, a minute, wrong. she was talking. And this is things I just said. But I'm not talking to Ramses. I'm not in his face. She said, yeah, I'm confused about the stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, she didn't say I'm confused. She, she said, said, I don't like it. She, she said, I didn't like it. I was like, what's going on with the hair and shit? From jump, okay, wow, yeah. that was that's how we jumped into it. What's her mom's background? Just two seconds. Out. I have no idea. Is she Latina? I'm so confused. I she could not Latina. tell. I was like, I think she's some part black though. Maybe I don't know. I've there was a thing in her voice that said because at first when she I saw her, I'm like, oh, okay, like, maybe it's her dad. But then when she talked, and then when she said they all have different dads, yeah, I was okay. like, maybe her dad is black. So she's up, but like, yeah. So so and then they go into like you know his. job like he's less i guess success i don't know he's he less she's in school she hasn't done anything yet but well, he's not school. less successful but like she anticipates that her daughter will make more money because she's in law school yeah and he's at and she makes a lot of assumptions and jumps to conclusions like are you with my daughter for like money and for this and this? and like he's like you gonna sign prenup because i don't care what she does because i don't believe it forever anyways i'm believing this and i was like you know that's cute but also that's not what they discussed not at all and it's cute to like <laughs> say that maybe in private like girl you know like not everything lasts forever okay, but to he sell works it. for a justice reform nonprofit. that doesn't mean that his job that means is he's broke uh um, yeah, true but that doesn't mean your job is not interesting no for sure for sure because the money isn't everything but to her she was it seemed like she's been scarred that she's like security she needs to be like yeah, she's so smart. She needs, she like, my smart. daughter needs to be okay. She and was I, like, because she was abandoned by men in the past, mainly her dad and her stepdad. And I was like, girl, you are projecting onto your daughter. But also their history with poverty seemed For very sure. the way they intense. Talk about it, yeah, it is intense. And when you come from that, you never want to go back. No, of course you don't want to go back, but you don't have to, like... Like no, said, she didn't have, have to, to do that shit. That was like that was rude as hell. And, and then and, to, for her and, to be like, but uh, you're welcome into the family. No, clearly I'm not welcome. Ramses was better than me, because... He re listen shout, out to, shout out to his parents for raising him that way at least for that because i would have been like excuse me ma'am what you're not going let do? me tell you how you don't know me let me tell you how you got me completely effed up marissa love you babe give me a second yeah but that's the thing it's like parents is hard no like, she was that was but much. she crossed when she crossed that line like first i was saying that in the uk jasmine's mom but this mom was worse no no she was terrible so yeah, so they had. But that, also, okay. I I know my mom. If I first of all, I'm dragging her on TV <laughs> for her to meet with somebody that she don't like. Cause you know your mom. You for know sure. you know what kind of hairstyle and vibe she don't like. And then you met this man two sec two point five seconds ago, and you engaged, and I haven't met him yet. No, and he's working for a nonprofit. Bye. <laughs> um, no, because well, yeah. I know my mom, she would have done her little thing that she, she has a thing she does with her mouth when she's not happy. But like, you have to know her to know. So, no. It is the funniest thing. I really so, wish no. she would have prepped us for her mom a little bit. Because I remember on, on the UK version, nothing. Jasmine told us, she's like, hey, she's like, my mom. My mom. Because <laughs> I had no idea what to expect from but her. But the mom was, was way better. Was she like, was, her mom was way better. She she came in hot she came in but, hot but not like this but not like that this. was disrespectful for sure that she was, was like she basically told bobby's like uneducated people are dumb 
I was like, who she talking to? <laughs> but, so, so, but yeah, but it's uh, like with them, roses the, and the, wait, the last thing though. Yeah. He's like, yeah, I'm gonna have to like mentally prepare myself when we have family gatherings. That was his little comment on that. Better man than me. Um, then we get to that's literally that's the part I was gonna because <laughs> the children conversation. And if he I tell you he that, wants children in in three in to four years. five years. He said four years when she and then she's like, no, it's closer to four now. And she's like, well, what about like two and a half? He's like, oof. And I'm trying. I don't know what it is. I guess he said he wants to enjoy the time together. And two years together before having kids is is it? I mean, two years. She together. seems to. To want children now. Though. But here's the thing. First of all, they should have talked about this in the pods. Not now. That's the first thing. Second thing, because she, the way she asked them, you could tell that they had already had that conversation yeah. in a pod. And then second thing is, two years together before having kids doesn't sound crazy. But here's the thing now. But she I think said she's in a 32. year, she's going to be 32. She she's not even 32 have, yet? No, she said she's going to be 32. Girl, you got some time. In a year. So she's going to, basically, if she has kids, she, so if in she four years, four she'll years, be 36, 35. Be, yeah, 35. That's okay. No, but that's the thing. Maybe she doesn't want her kids at 35, especially because you know how these people will be calling the ger- geriatric, geriatric pregnancy, pregnancy starting like, basically, I'm old now in terms of pregnancy. You're not. You're 30. not 35. No, yet. no, I know. But starting it, literally, some people will tell you like after like 27. No, I'm just not it's saying. saying you know what I mean? But it's just like, but, it is. But, but, you but know he I mean? was very, it seemed like, like you said, I don't think they went too deep into that conversation because yeah. they were really like fighting on it. He, what? What I'm just gonna talk out of both sides of my mouth now, because earlier I was saying I like that about him, but it's also one thing that annoys me. He seems he's a little immovable, and I I didn't like that because we have to find a solution. And she's like, I'm not gonna do birth control because X, Y, and Z. And he's like, Yeah, it's true. It affects your mood, but like, what are we gonna do? Condoms? He suggested it. He didn't even say what are we gonna do? Condoms? He said I'm just gonna have to wear condoms. I guess or, that's okay. what he said at first. So okay, I, at first I was like, oh, Okay, I guess so, you know. And then she's like, Okay. I guess, like, uh, I mean, I've had good condom sex. Like, actually, he's like, no, but, like, I want to enjoy the sex. I was like, like, yeah. So you want a baby? I'm, I'm confused. Like, just, just get you the, want a baby or the no? The thinnest condoms possible. Like, I don't know. He's like, Take them. The he, he's, he don't, he's against them. I saw in that little previews. He was just like, nope. I, this is not good. It has to be. So, okay, enter the patriarchy. I was confused because I just really thought that Ramsey was going to be. Remember the little Hotepi comment? Yeah, yeah. I thought you were more progressive than that. I was. For everything of else, all the things that he else. would be arguing, that's not what I thought. For everything else, he, he was, would be arguing. I'm telling but you, but that I was else. then remember reminded he's just a man, yeah, and we can't expect too too much from him, yeah. Apparently, but so damn. I was like, damn. So we'll see how they work that out because that's a part like you and y'all gonna have, especially when, the way y'all have it sorry. between y'all that. Get pregnant. I feel so, like between uh, that and the military thing, because for some reason I feel like she's gonna go back. She has. It looks like <laughs> I she, feel like she's gonna not gonna, gonna go, go back, back, but she wants to do some kind of work with troops or like. Because the way she's her like, blood. I support the troop. I was like, sir, if you don't run from there, she's been around them since she was have, two years she old. She gonna have your kids love the military, sir. You don't want that. I mean, again. No shade to be born. I mean, it's different. That's it's just, not it's just for me. a different, you know, perspective. It's just not for me, especially with everything that's going on in the world right now. I don't like. I don't see how you can support that shit. Mm-hmm. But that's just me. But then we end with Monica and Steven at on the honeymoon. At the Mexico, they were. I was confused because again, I don't. Monica's some of these women. These women be. <laughs> these women are very interesting this season. That's all. I have the most notes on them. Okay. <laughs> okay. Because Monica, for me, was very hard on him in the beginning. Like, she don't like him. <laughs> she don't like him. That's the first thing I know. I was like, she don't like this man. She I was trying like to figure him. out. It's like, is she, I feel like she was just trying to make him into like him. what she wants because she doesn't actually like him. She don't like so him. I just need you to act the way I want you because I've decided I'm getting married because it's time. But I feel like she don't like him. She don't like him, and he picked up on it. I feel like he. I feel like he could. T- There's moments while I was watching this, and I was like, Oh, he was. He, knows. he was absolutely terrified of her during that. There was. He didn't want to say certain. He was. Oh, he was scared. Okay, but then you get him a couple drinks, you know, because you know, Love and Blind have him drinking in them gold cups, and he there. What's in the gold cups? <laughs> What's in the gold cups? And he goes to the meetups with the with their other couples, and he talking about yeah, like a year from now, you know. If these girls they come and they're like, I want your dick and I don't care about your situation. Like, like where'd that come from? What, what situation are we talking about? And here? here's the one thing. When he said that the first time, I was like, this is me. I was like, the comment was hilarious, but like, okay. But what? And then he kept <laughs> dropping stuff and I was like, oh, this man in the lifestyle. And this Monica, man want to be in the- <laughs> And Monica 
was just by the second getting the major X. Oh yeah, it's like not, she, at this point it's not an like ick. it wasn't smaller X. It was just, I don't know what uh, she was just checking out like ew 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 and she's like I gotta fix that fix this fix that <laughs> like she was sucking she was sitting with him and he was like she was like so this is like day two honeymoon whatever oh, where are my flowers you okay said, so you said he was going to some flowers she said flowers so many times <laughs> so many times this is what I wrote she seems so confused by him and his chatter and his things she's very annoying with the flower things like but meanwhile this man is like oh the surprise is nice and she's like my flowers my flowers my flowers do you think this wait do you think life is is, is a, it's like i love no, gifts i, just wanna know if she I thinks, need gifts if she thinks like life is a movie so you think the people are just gonna pull up with flowers every that's what she wanted because i guess but that's what i was saying and he was selling a dream in the pods oh because he really did amp up that i'm gonna i'm that romantic guy though and since they've been out all he's been giving her is is boner pokes so he's just also i guess her her maybe a love language is receiving gifts no she did well she, she said it was her third love language is it her third i wish she's like i want flowers i want flowers. i was like I okay girl flowers. they're just not compatible which, which what he did with the flowers i'm not gonna lie that was cute. that was cute that was but they're just not compatible he liked her because he wanted to jump her bones he wanted to and it, i think they yeah, did. I know what you were about to say yeah yeah mm -hmm. and i don't think that she, and she was looking for a build a bear husband like one that she could yeah okay he doesn't have the best job he doesn't have the best education but you i need louis vuitton i need this i need that and this he, is he doesn't have the best job he doesn't have the best education i need for all the people watching this i need y'all to understand that people in in trade jobs they make a lot of money in her Electric, opinion that's what, saying, that's, that's, like, that's what i'm saying electricians plumbers and a lot of other things they make bank like if actually just watch the people that be building companies on Shark Tank and go in and be like, yeah, I just invented this little thing that makes it easier for people that do carpentry to do things. And they're like, yeah, my company is valued at like $4 million. Mm -hmm. Like, y'all need to just not... Anyways, there's just something so they, that needed to so say. So those were the difficulties they're having. They're, you know, And she's kind of gets the ick by him many times. He's overly sexual. And then we get, again, Netflix, what are we doing? Um, we get this... Hello, sexual comment. <laughs> this little piece together what? scene where we see... Monica having a conversation with Taylor, telling her, like, yeah, like, I don't know. He said he was on a sleep test last night. I don't know what's going on. I saw like, was he as a sleep test? I saw these texts because they were so disgusting, so kinky. And, like, apparently, Mr. Uh, Steven was out here uh, cheating because <laughs> that's what he said he would do. He told her. He told you, and you said thank you. But, okay, um, he was out here cheating with some woman that he said, texted him and he said he was drunk at the sleep test which mm -hmm. I'm confused. and he was texting but she her said that kinky stuff that the her perspe what? monica's perspective on those text messages was like yo you were still texting today so i don't know what about the drunkness and he's like i don't recall texting today i here's what i want to say right <laughs> he the said he didn't he... remember no he, here's what i want to say right yeah that whole interaction was hilarious because this man really said okay yeah you're right i'm sorry like i'm just gonna give you a... basically i'm just gonna go like i'm just gonna leave you alone and it's so funny to me because she kept saying these messages were disgusting these messages were disgusting and i was just like are you more disgusted at the fact that he cheated or are you more disgusted at what he said in the messages because I, if you i think it was both but that's the thing i feel like in my opinion she was more disgusted at the fact of what he was saying in the messages because i feel like he had been dropping hints of certain things sexually that he may or may not like and i feel like i was i was like girl you should have known but we've known from time you don't like him he picked up on you don't like him this whole situation was terrible he should not have done that but i'm just saying like I feel like she should have left too. Like they both should have left from time. They should not have done this whole. They're thing. not compatible. They're really and, not. And, and they and they, they decide really to end it because there's no coming back from that. They don't we decide have, to end it. It was just like okay. Like, yeah, he's, he's like he's like because like, like, oh, there's nothing I can say to you right now because he had nothing. What do you have? You have nothing. Like defend it. You have nothing. So he was like, I I'm gonna be out. And we have to wrap up real quick, but then, you know, she's explaining the situation to Taylor. Garrett comes. I love how Taylor and Garrett were supportive of Monica, yeah. even though I don't think Monica was blameless or in this whole relationship. I don't think she deserved that ending. That was whack. No, that was um, whack. That was really whack. So, yeah. So, I mean, I guess at this point, like, for me up till now, real villain and show villain. My show villain is Hannah. Okay. It's my show villain. The but the real villain show. is Steven. Because he tried to get me. You know? He was in there saying cute things. How he read books and shit. He's half... He's 10% black. But Steven. So I have... No. Okay. Real villain. 
for sure, Hannah. Cause ugh, show villain or real villain? No, um, show villain, okay. Hannah. My bad. And then real villain, um. I would say, I would say real villain, real villain, real villain. Wait, I'm kidding. No, but like, but. I want to say Steven, but I hike you want to put Tyler in there because... <laughs> you know I forgot about that, man? I feel like Tyler... He, he probably is the real villain, too. Yeah. Because he also played me. Tyler and Steven both Because that's me. actually worse than... Because Steven is like, cheating is terrible, but I feel like <laughs> obliterating, like not mentioning the fact that you have a whole family outside is crazy. It's so. insane. But and guys, guys, we have a few We have a few more episodes of this left, so we're going to come back um, after when that soon yeah we'll yeah. come back before the reunion for sure uh but yeah make sure you follow us on social media that's here and we'll be back soon not the it's here that's where it is is it here hush <laughs> bye bye